Stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titties done. Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah You ain't never seen no show like this Cracking jokes and singing we won't miss 5150 up in this bitch yeah. You ain't never seen a show like this Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150-2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Rip the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this One fifty in the motherfucking house. One nigga from the south. Yes, sir. One West Coast motherfucking re- born and raised. God. One. Shot town in the motherfucking house. <laughs> Mexican refugee up in this bitch. No, I'm just fucking with you. I am Corey Holcomb. Fifty one motherfucking fifty lives again. Darlene O G O T S. You know Marcus, yeah. and we are blessed with the Craig facts in the house. God, God, God. <laughs> they fired the fruit booty off CNN. He said it wouldn't happen. When you spoke about him and his, his, his What'd I say, D? You said, nah, they ain't gonna let him go. Remember I brought up the smoke? I must have said that a while ago. Over there at the uh, on the set, I didn't think they would let him go because he said, got he well, got in shape. I mean, he got he got his shit in line. See, you know, Don Lemon started talking like a black man. If you know anything about that, hmm. when he got mad at Trump, he started talking like he was black. Him and his white boyfriend. That's when they broke up. Yeah, yeah they broke got, up. They got militant again. <laughs> Don no. Lemon broke up with his boyfriend. Yeah, he no, ain't got with, fired. I'm he's, joking. With, he's joking. I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> I was just gonna say the boyfriend was like, "You must not know why you got that job, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> and they still they fired him, but he's still walking away with twenty five million. That's incredible. Ooh, hey. That's, he walking backwards. We all know how he get out. I, I, I think he gonna buy a WNBA team with that money. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna well, buy he the, still got a lot of money left. He gonna have to buy, he gonna buy the league with that. Not, <laughs> not only do they have to finish paying him because he had a three year contract, like three more years left, and each year was for seven million. But there's he just hired like one of the top top lawyers today. For to, what? Today to see if there's any more <laughs> that like any anything that they messed up or that he's entitled to still. So Man, see the thing about that brother um uh, mm. Don Lemon, I seen him talk so bad for the network against black people. Yeah. I remember his coverage when the the young brother Brown got killed out there in St. Louis and he was on air telling the police that ain't go over there. 
you know, when the brothers was like kind of like right. rebelling against the system, oh, he was yeah. like, yo, this this man, I don't have uh, sympathy for Don Lemon, man. No. And so when I heard, I don't know if this is true, did, 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 did Roland Martin really try to hire them? I don't know what if do that's mean, true. Oh, no, I thought they who? said Boosie. <laughs> who? I thought I heard something about Boosie yeah, making man, a job Boosie off ain't finna hide no motherfucking Don <laughs> Lemon around him trying to squeeze. <laughs> they say, no, you, they say your girl you. offered it. Tasha K. Tasha K. <laughs> <laughs> no, but did you, hear, did you see the funniest thing, of That's course, now that, everybody, and now that that happened, everybody's coming out He's with their be memes and yeah. their this and that. But the best one, I think, is Rick Ross. You saw Rick Ross? He, gonna be. he did a, li a video on his Instagram. And he's offering Don Lemon a job. He was like, you know, my um, <laughs> that a wing stop is hiring. And he was like, don't oh, worry, yeah. brother. We, he's making, but he's like, we're gonna support you, brother. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure. He was like, wow, you was at 17 years at CNN. Yeah. He said, don't worry, I'm gonna make sure I get you on the proper, uh, what is it, stove, whatever the hot, oh, yeah. with the front line yeah. or whatever. And his, I mean, wow, like if any any him. black people who feel sorry for. Don Lemon must not have heard the disparaging things he said about black people on air. Uh. Like, if you know who this guy is, it's just like if Stephen A. Smith get fired. Right. Here's another one of their coconuts yeah. that they threw with. Mm -hmm. I know where he's going to go. He's definitely going into the hemorrhoid business. He's going into somebody. He's going into the hemorrhoid business? <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> that motherfucker about to open a chitlin factory. He all right, though. He's not, he's not suffering. Talking about, I don't sure. smell nothing no more. I don't smell anything. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely, like I said, $25 million. That's, that's what they still owe him. He's about to build back doors at Home Depot. <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going, Chad Rule. What are you about to do? <laughs> That's hilarious, <laughs> man. Uh, He's about to sell underwear with screen doors on them. <laughs> hey, Rick Ross. Yeah. Oh, I hear that you're pretty good at them, them uh, uh, lemon pepper wings. Coming out with <laughs> lemon pepper wings. You're coming out with a mud-proof tissue. A what? A mud-proof <laughs> tissue. Oh, my He's Lord. He's to take his boyfriend and get a BBL. <laughs> He's about to make some toilet paper with eyes on it. <laughs> well, he, they caught him walking around today. He definitely, he definitely doesn't look sad. That <laughs> <laughs> was crazy. He's about man. to make real long back scratches. <laughs> <laughs> we can make... keep it going. We can <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> what you want to do, dog living? What you want to do? He's going to make some ass scratches. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming up with an ass powered saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> Blow it out your ass. Blow it out your ass, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, yeah, make, he uh, was just, yeah, he was just dealing with some drama. No, it was about a month ago, and you were like, they're never going to fire him. They're never going to let him go, or whatever, but man. They, he about they to make a whole bunch of tuba <laughs> tips. Keep it going, darling. And he, th he, by the way, you know, he was saying, <laughs> he was saying that his whole spiel is, his whole thing is, is oh, they, they let me go and I did not know. They said, mm -mm. so they're, they're saying, the network's saying, that's BS. They actually called him on BS. They were like, BS. We actually have, we, they called for a meeting. They were going to come let him know, like, come on in. And he decided to do his own thing and post it up, he about to his make, thing on, on Twitter. So. He's about, he about to make bikes that pedal backwards. He's <laughs> <laughs> he about, he about to make bikes with no seats. He's about, uh, uh, he about to do a Christmas album with the mic in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he said, somebody say he's dropping boxers with windows in the back. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Yeah, Tucker Carlson, but nobody can know. Who is, yeah, he watch is. this. Who is Tucker Carlson? He's another commentator, but he's a. We know. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We don't take it personally when a Tucker a Tucker Carlson does something yeah. downward toward us. We take it personally when Stephen A. Smith and and Don Lemon had yeah. a mic and they just they get a chance to 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 to, to dog us out, man. Mm. So now, even though he got money. We talking about what business does he going to open? Somebody say glory hole host. Oh, yeah, no. Well, we <laughs> oh, Urethra no. cleaner. Hey, whatever he opens is going to look like a hole in the wall. Right. <laughs> oh, no. I got that one. Dang it. You opened a hole in the wall. <laughs> we had my best time, y'all. Don yeah, Lemon going to be doing his own wall. commercials. This is the slippiest, slipperiest grease in America. <laughs> <laughs> he making quick to the back grease. <laughs> you want to get back there quicker? <laughs> they said Donna. Yeah. 
Motherfucker, get your Silly. goof ass out of here. He what? He could do a lot with that name, though. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, he Asshole flavored gum. Yeah. Mm. Asshole flavored gum, goddammit. Marcus, you be eating that. Nigga, what? No, <laughs> it's called bum. It ain't called gum. It's called bum. Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> he probably gonna end up somewhere, you know, uh, commissioner of the WNBA or you know somewhere, you know, somewhere to rub it in on us, Simone. Yeah, it's gonna be a position of power for sure. Yeah, he might be at Def Jam Records. He might be running. <laughs> <laughs> might be, might be booking the talent for Def Jam. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what they say, D. Larry Anthony goes to LLC says. I saw you in D.C., Corey. You were on fire. Hey, man, let me tell y'all something, man. I told D.C. up, man, at the at the, um, at the um, Constitution, Constitution Hall, man. D.C. was, they was ready for me, too. It was mainly all 5150 in there. Man. Who, who's Go, on, D.C. Who was all on the show? Who was on the who show? Was on that? Oh, this was all on the show? But this D-Ray, the, that's the past ball, weekend, right? Kevin Tate. Kevin wow. Tate funny to the motherfucker, y'all. Uh, Mo, Mojo Brooks, young brother from Chicago. He was, I, hey, I missed him. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, but I somebody told me about him when I did my Chicago theater show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was almost on that show. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I heard he 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 was good. Benji Brown mm-hmm. from motherfucking the MIA, goddammit. But I'm telling you, man, fifty one fifty is mob deep, dog. Man, yeah, fifty one fifty mob deep, dog. We, hey, it's a little comedy club out there in DC. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give everybody the story. When I worked the DC Improv. It was a fight. Uh-oh. We sold out Ed's show at a three show, because it's a little room. But the DC Improv has never wanted to pay me my money. Uh-oh. You know what they used to say? We sell out anyway, so you just got to do a deal according to whatever, whatever. I was like, y'all don't sell out anyway. <laughs> they already didn't like me because of that. Right. So they wind up giving me a deal that was fair. But it was a fight, and it was a black how far as the manager, and I'm going to tell you why. I swear this is what happened. The black girl manager at the DC Improv did not like me because one night I had one girl, and the next night <laughs> I had another girl. And I saw the anger in her face when they was like, bring us some wings. Huh. <laughs> she was so mad and jealous that... I just had it like that. I swear, this was about eight, nine years ago. It's been a long time. I saw it. It was, it was just venom on top of the people who run it. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't, they don't want to pay you fairly. They don't want to chop up the dough with you. Right. They want to give you what they want to give you. Mm. So the last time they made an offer, they was like, um, "You can work the club, but we got to take out um, this much for security because you be fighting." I ain't had a fight at a club since that happened. Is she still there? Does she still work? No, they fired the bitch. Ooh. But oh, good, because I was just over to say, I, I want to get a night up there, but I hope she ain't working over here. Uh, I'm and, just saying, man, it's yeah. cold-blooded how they do me, man. I ain't never worked at yeah. the D.C. Improv because they like mm. to politic, man. Yeah. Mm. And I'm telling you, most of the improvs around the nation mess with me, man. They, I don't have drama. Mm. I don't even have a, 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 a big entourage. You know, some people burn mm-hmm. themselves up at the enterprise, I mean, at the improv yeah. with their um, notes or what they mm-hmm. want. Yeah, it's like too mm. much. You're not, it's like, come I on. I need a blueberry muffin baked like at 75 degrees <laughs> as soon as I get off stage. Take all the green M&Ms out. Yeah, I don't Shit like that. Yeah, stuff like that, yeah. yeah I don't but I, I just can't understand why the DC Improv is really trying to do that and hold on to that. I mean, I got a big following in DC. Don't you think that, you know what I'm saying? You, you, well, I mean, what you want? I'm not going to kiss your ass. We got to be fair. Yeah. Gotta be fair. Mm. I mean, like, but a lot of, lot of, lot of these Rice motherfuckers. Says he yeah, remembers you, that gotta, show. you remember that show? That dude tried to steal my chain off my neck. It was a, it was a dude. He tried to fight some old people. He was with a girl who kept talking through the whole show. Long story short, an older lady looked like she'd be like, "Yo, mama, my mama, a." Wait. Said, it, "Will you please be quiet?" And the girl and the dude tried to fight that old couple. Oh, that's what made me wow. jump off the stage the oh, wow. and get out there. The yeah, that's the dude oh, who tried to grab my on, chain. It's on tape. That's oh, on wow. video. I've seen that. Yep. Yeah, that's cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what happened, man. Damn. So I, I wish I wish the people who are at the DC Improv would come up off that fuck shit. I mean, goddamn, what the fuck? 
What the fuck? When are you going to come up off that fuck well, shit? I'm never going to kick that. your ass. <laughs> but I'm saying, I mean, I see it. Constitution Hall was sold out. Mm-hmm. So you can try to find a way to say, oh, Corey this, Corey that, because I didn't had. I done had club owners lie on me. What you mean? In what way? Lying said, this one dude said, oh, he's a drunk. What? Mm. <laughs> I don't even really drink. I know, right, yeah. Right, 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 right. That's funny as hell. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, That's most terrible. of the, most of the, but with most of the comedy clubs around the nation, I have a solid rapport with. I don't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I didn't work, to, I, I haven't worked Tommy T's in a while because um, the lady, we sell out Tommy T's. We add shows. But this is what happened. The lady who run Tommy T's is the wife of the dude who used to own Tommy T's. And she got it in the divorce? She got it in the divorce. Oh, just but she gets shit from people. <laughs> what? She, the dude, Tommy, you know we love you, Tommy. Damn. Tommy I was, was just joking. Tommy was a good club to work up there in Oakland. But that's. That's on the rocks now because wow. the lady who run Tommy T's took my date, even after the tickets was on sale, and gave my date to said the entertainer. What? Oh, wow. On some just, oh, we'll have to rework that type shit. I was like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you done lost your cold-blooded ass mind. You think I'm your husband, bitch? <laughs> but take it to court. That's what it was. Wow. I, I could have made a big deal out of it, but I was just like, well, fuck it. Let's say it work the club. What the fuck I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna argue with you to work your club, and I sell this motherfucker out every time I come. But she's a manipulative bitch, mm. and she tried to run that shit on me. So I'm just letting you know, if you ever want to book me again, it's a fee for that, for what you did. Phil, what would you say is fair? A little bump up because she did. About twenty thousand. It cost twenty thousand dollars on GP for me to work the club. Then we'll work out the rest from there. But I'm just saying, goddamn, you can't take my date and give it to nobody. And God knows, I love said the entertainer. I love said the right. Fucking said the entertainer is one of the funniest comics ever. I said it. Said the entertainer is one of the funniest comics ever. Go see said. Well, they on tour now. Right. It said. I think it's Mike Epps, yeah. DL, Gay Cakes on there, ain't he? Did they put him out? Oh, gay Cakes is kind of funny, though. You oh. know what I'm saying? Gay Cakes. You don't know who Gay Cakes is? Oh, you that? know. Earthquake. Oh, wow. Fuck that nigga. He crossed me. What's oh, cross me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell the truth. I ain't got to be fake. <laughs> if you be good to me, and even if I know you're a fuck nigga, I'd just be like, hey, what's up? Although, although he did big once up Corey on Shannon Once you cross me, show, remember? I'm telling the truth. He, he did big oh, up yeah. Corey, though. He did big him oh, up. Yeah. But just Shannon before that, yeah. He said I was one of his top five on, sure on, on Shannon's show. He did. Gay Cakes. He oh, said man. That. I ain't said his name. I just said Gay Cakes. <laughs> if you <laughs> identify as Gay Cakes, you Gay Cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I be poking them bear. I'm like, oh boy, Dylan. Was it Dylan Brooks? That motherfucker fuck with LeBron. LeBron made that little lucky ass shot. You just, see, I love LeBron, but you see, he got older. Yeah, he old. He ain't. He, he used. Could nobody stay in front of him? Oh, yeah, probably nah. about even three years ago. Yeah. yeah. Now he be like, uh, 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 where my beard die? <laughs> Is he the best player ever at that age? At that age? Thirty-eight. Has there ever been an athlete that dominant that late? Oh, well, that's right. Because Floyd, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. Age, what, what age did a... I was just going to say, you talk about basketball? Or just, or just sports, sports in overall. general. Oh. Floyd is the only one I can think of, right? Well, yeah, mm-hmm. Floyd is a freak of nature. I believe Floyd could come back now and win some fights. Oh, yeah. But I'm saying, like, with basketball, I don't know if as many people who is as good as he is now at 38 right. versus... Mm. Kareem is the only one that's close. I was just going to say, Kareem yeah. is the only one who still used to put it up. I mean, Kobe, Kobe. How old yeah, was Kobe old when he was, retired? Yeah, how he old? played 20 years on the dot. I think he was 39. Jeez. Was he? You got We got to find out. Yeah, because he How was old was awesome. Kobe before he retired? We, we got to know was that. Kobe Bryant when he retired. 41. Kobe averaged 28 a game when he was what? 38. No, Kobe won 41 when he retired, was he? 37. Right, 37. They know 41. They probably said when he died. Oh, oh they probably put when he died. Right, I was just for the say. I was just for the say that. 
I was like, I think he died in his early 40s, oh, unfortunately. Oh, rest in peace. When he retired from the NBA. 37? Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. He so was a baby when he died. He came in at 17. Mm-hmm. Kobe came in at 17. He played two years. So 37. Kobe was still good, but it's just he had lost a step and he was a gun. Right. Like, keeping it real. Mm. When he when he was Kobe and him being a gun, it didn't matter. Could nobody right. guard him? Right, right. He was right. one of the most unguardable players in the league. Mm. All right, <sighs> motherfucking Marcus, motherfucker was out there in Arizona this weekend, right? Yeah. Marcus, motherfucking went up there. Get them people they flowers, man. What's that store you went to? Oh man, Strong Wood, man. You know what I'm saying? Say, well, say it so people can understand. <laughs> Strong and wool. He said straw and wool. Yeah. Straw. straw and wool out there in Phoenix, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's a hat store the, in Phoenix. They got the brims, man. You know, you can get your discount with, uh, you put Marcus 10 on there. You know what I'm saying? You get oh, your, get your little discount, man. man that's going to help you plug, dog. All yeah. right. Help you. <laughs> but no, but brother, he, he, he gave me some hats. Well, all right. I, I appreciate that, brother. What's, what's his, his name? name? You know his name? <laughs> Ali. Ali? Ali? Yeah. Brother Ali at, what's the name of the store again? Straw and Wool. Straw in, and in Wool. Arizona. Yeah, he in gave Arizona. me this thing too, right? In Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. He gave me this hat can yeah, that hat I can case. travel wow. with. Yeah. Cooler heads prevail. Hey, Yuck Mouth, if you're ever in Phoenix, go out to the hat store called Ooh, Straw and Wool in Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. 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 They got these tell things, you the, too. Tell me you that Marcus discount, man. Oh, shoot. Look, look at my name. Right. That's what I'm saying. And he gave me about four or five hats. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they yeah. all, yeah. Cold, so, he, yeah, he got some cold hats down there. Do you? Wait, what? Yeah. Here. Yeah, I want to see that motherfucker, yeah. yuck. I'm going to hang out with yuck a couple of times, see how wild yuck is and oh, shit. You know, you never know somebody until you hang out with him about two, three times. <laughs> he said he okay. a made man. I, I get it, Yuck. I don't want no trouble, Yuck. <laughs> no, Yuck cool as fuck, man. Yeah. It's just, I yeah. bet Yuck. That well, what are the hats they gave you? You didn't want to show? I want to see. We'll show, I'm going oh, I'm to I'm switch up one of the hats when we wrap after the okay. show tonight. They got your size, right? I'm going to throw one. Yeah, they yeah. got the big head nigga yeah, size. They had, mm-hmm. they had to stretch the, the brim up, man, uh-huh. to get cool right, man. Are you gonna oh, get yeah, some drink? Yeah, oh, get some, man. oh wow! Oh, get some drink. Oh, I might drink tonight too if y'all drinking. Shit, why not? Since what? Craig here and shit. It's anyway. Craig's fault. <laughs> Always is. <laughs> I gotta get into my lessons to the young. Oh, the other dude got fired too, though. Who? Oh. Yeah, oh. we be talking, but nobody's talking about. Him. He talking about Who? Tucker Carlson. Yeah, Tucker yeah, nobody. Carlson. They brought him up, but we if he got that. fired, it's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. What is oh. that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, hey, Craig, he passing you to get him, oh, goddamn it. Oh, okay. Now we're going to have to use that for a no, minute. No, they all generous up there. Everybody so walk up gen- them stairs, be generous. Oh, yeah, man. All the bosses at the table up there. We got to make that Jesus table picture up there with all y'all lads up there, man. You feel like you feel like you're at a family reunion with your uncles. You know, you come this month. Up there, yeah. He said, you feel like you're at a family reunion <laughs> with your uncles for everybody who ain't. Translate. <laughs> <laughs> he talking <laughs> Arkansas right now. <laughs> I would like, if I may, to help out men. D, I know this is some chauvinistic shit I'm finna say. You hang in there. I want to help out men across the nation as best I can. Another pretty light-skinned girl going upstairs. I want to help out men against a force that you really don't realize you don't have power over. I really feel like, if I may say this, the reason that woman got you in her web is because you underestimated how crazy she showed you she is. In order to preserve her fuck shit, she perfected lying. Let me let me just break that down again, because I really want Marcus, Craig, everybody in the nation to hear this. 
The woman that you are up under right now has perfected lying. She'll call you a liar because you a coward and you lie about where your dick been. That's what most men do. They lie about where they dick been. Right. Most men, can't. they scared to tell a woman where they dick been because they do not want to face her getting smashed. Right. So you, you cower up and you lie about that. But I'm saying, the reason that's your woman right now is because you don't believe that the crazy shit she showed you is how she really get down. You think, oh, she just was tripping at that moment. No! Every man out there who is in a relationship, I want you to be very wise and brave as you evaluate the person who is trying to talk you in to getting government per paperwork to make the relationship official. God! Any woman who's trying to get you to put government paperwork into your relationship is your enemy. God. Mm -hmm. Your enemy. Not, oh, she just wanted this. That is your enemy trying to coerce you into doing something that gives her the upper hand so when you leave this time, you owe. Mm. Oh, God, God, God. <laughs> Craig, you ain't married, are you? No. <laughs> Marcus, you ain't married, are you? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, now you, you ain't married, are you? Can't no woman break my heart because I'm a married myself. Hey, Abe, you married? No, I ain't married. <laughs> These are the younger generations up in here. <laughs> you know I'm coming back there. <laughs> we got a brother up in here, good brother, always in good spirits. Used to be a soul train dancer. He showed us a picture of back when he was skinned and used to rod them hoes out. Oh, my oh. God. You don't know if he did that. Yeah. Why you doubting him? He trying to say you can't rod hoes out. I didn't say that. I just said I don't think he was that kind of fella. But What do you mean he wasn't that kind of fella? That's all part of being a man, riding out oh, women that wow. you know wanted to rod your heart out. That's how you become a man. When you fuck the bitch that wanted to destroy you and you look at her while you washing up. Bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up talking to me, that's manhood. Have you ever been married? He is. Isn't now look, D, have you ever seen anything but pleasant out of that brother back there? Always just in a good mood. Always. As soon as you see him, he always a good brother. Very mm -hmm. kind. Cocaine. You're not mm -hmm. still married, are you? <laughs> oh, you still married? God damn. <laughs> 51 years? Oh, he, oh, 51 years. I'm like, God What'd he say? 15 years. I thought he said 51. Oh, 15 like, years. Okay. I didn't know that. So he married, so. Fuck. Yeah, when it, uh, when it gets what you was trying to say. No, man. I wish everybody luck who in that situation. Oh. <laughs> Are you happy? There it is. You met her online. Oh no, my oh, 15 nigga. years ago? Yeah. He got a girl on AOL? He, he got a girl on the Pizza Hut website. He was on <laughs> <laughs> that was in a, that was in a real go. chat. He <laughs> said on the Pizza Hut website. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, brother, is, is she from the States? <laughs> what you trying to say? He got a mail order bride? <laughs> I'm going to ask it. Yeah, he, uh, on, he ordered her. The brother giving us information. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Now, what happened? This fool asked, is she from the States? <laughs> he met her uh, online, fell in love, phone. seven days. So let me ask you a question. Let me make sure I get this right. Was, you fell in love before y'all had sex? God damn! Y'all was both virgins? How did you do that? It was both virgins. He was working on a record project yeah. in Arizona. She was in L.A. They was both virgins. No, they weren't no, both virgins. <laughs> <laughs> he was a soul train dancer. He ain't no virgin. Oh, thank yeah, God. That motherfucker used to soul train line them hoes. Yeah, he used yeah. to hunt every goddamn yeah. week. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Oh, shit, this nigga flirting with yeah. me over here, nah. dog. <laughs> 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 he, said, <laughs> he said the broad ass the most line, what size condom do he wear? <laughs> I heard enough, my nigga. Somebody said he met her on Wish. Uh, you know what? You say he met her on Wish. Get the fuck out. I'm done. You know, I'm it, through it, with it. it. You, okay. you, you dicked it down. I told you he was riding them hoes out <laughs> in the Soul Train line. <laughs> we had the AOL chat room. Remember the AOL chat room? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that's, but y'all lasted no, but 15 that's years. Crazy. He married her 45 days after you met her. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, that's no, a, yeah, I no can't issue. argue with that. What can I say? Damn. It's you can't say nothing about that. They together. Right. Yeah, no issues, no regrets. Oh, that's bad. He never had an argument. That means he's a true. violent motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see how he cut up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You see how he cut up a little bit? <laughs> oh, Corey, God. Right. That's what's up. No, he said he old enough to know he ain't got to climb every mountain. That means you must have what somebody. What you got to do? Whooping her ass. No, <laughs> don't listen to him. He's being silly. Oh, what do mountain climbers have to do with ass whooping? Uh, I walk my bitch down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No, I treat going. bitches like old boy on Sugar Hill. Who <laughs> you know that motherfucker? You're going to suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? No. Yeah. Oh my God, this one over here. Give him the Academy Award now, please. Oh my God. I was going to ask Phil, but I ain't going to ask Phil shit. Why not? Isn't Phil, Phil's married? Why you put him on black? You've said it before. Oh, I did? Yeah. Did I say it on? Phil, I have Phil known. you yeah. around? He went, he ran off. Phil ran <laughs> off. Phil, <laughs> <laughs> Phil out there changing the tie. <laughs> yeah, gonna put me in the middle of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I'm wrong. There are fairy, I mean, there are um, happy endings in the world. Right. Well, it ain't ended yet. Well, it's, it's 15 years of happiness. He said he ain't never argued. Do you think you will ever be in a situation with a woman I feel in like 15 years you ain't never argued with her? I feel her? like if you, if you ain't never argued, you don't know what that side is like. Boy, that's a terrible. Maybe they don't have that. Yeah, Maybe they don't it, have once that Once you side. have your first argument, it, it might go all bad. Well, I know, I, like, like some guys don't argue, but right. it's a whole bunch of ways they find ways not to argue. Yeah. I don't know a lot of guys who don't argue what they I feel want. Like right. disagreements are healthy, also. Well, like that, if you yeah, have, but he if, didn't say a, a disagreement. He said argue. The most loyal things things don't talk. Right. A say dog, it again, Craig. The most loyal things don't talk, man. The only way you can have a relationship like that is if they really, or if they're action oriented. You know, every real nigga know when you dating abroad, you got to keep her on a can't do mission. I mean, a can't win mission, a can't do mission. That's something that she can never finish. If you always got her on a hamster wheel of some sort, whether it's at your paper, whether it's doing something productive, that's when you get that type of shit where y'all don't argue because she always got something to do. But if you let her mind idle, that's like with yeah. She gonna turn on you. That's like, like with kids. She, yeah. Yeah, she's gonna it's, turn on you. That's just a woman's mind is meant to be a helpmate. So if you're not positioning her to help you, she gonna turn on you. Sometimes you gotta make up an argument just to see how she react. Sometimes you just gotta make up shit for her to you do. You gotta see what type of and bitch you, you spend got. Enough time what you see? mean, Marcus? Say it again. You gotta, you gotta make up an argument, see what type of bitch you got, see how far she'll go. Again. Bitch, you, you might have one yeah. argument, it'll be stabbing in your chest. You yeah. like, oh, shit, perfect. Yeah. No kind of no, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right, a perfect thing to have your woman doing is, is being a real estate agent. The market is trash right now. She ain't never gonna sell a house. She's gonna be out there all she gonna the be, time. She's gonna be though. out there working and listing and trying to Sundays, network. Tuesdays. But it ain't never gonna work, bitch. <laughs> You're stupid. I want Gosh, my business in real estate, selling insurance, shit that losers do. <laughs> Should that lose Damn. Her. <laughs> Just have her out there. She's Just have gone. her out there. Well, I tell you, um, Eddie Murphy was part of one of the greatest movies in the world. It's called Coming to America. And I think a lot of women need to watch Coming to America so you can be trained to be a bride of quality. When you ask your woman a question, the first thing she's supposed to say is, whatever it is you like. Oh, that's yeah. one of my favorite ones. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what else is there to say? If you fuck with me for real, why are you questioning me? You don't think I'm a real nigga? You think I'm a pussy ass nigga? Get the fuck away from me. If you think I'm the man that was made to lead you, you do what I say. Oh, Prince God. Father in Purple see Rain. This, see this, it's like, this, is, this nigga been watching movies all week. Exactly. Oh, he got a picture of his wife right there. Oh, there I can't see that far. 
Yeah. I can't see that far. She from California he, he too, right? He doesn't have his glasses on. Who don't have his glasses? Him? No, Marcus. Oh, it's hard for me to see what she looked like. Oh, Marcus pretty. can't don't see. That Why are you judging one. if she didn't argue with She's him pretty. for 15 she... years? That is a princess. Exactly. What, 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 how old is she? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, he be beating. That's an old player. Man. That's an old player response. Marcus <laughs> asked, "How old is she?" That's a beating on the line. He said, "Old enough to know better." I done figured him out. Yeah, he looked like see, Dr. he looked like Dr. Dre a little bit too. You see how he cut up though? <laughs> yeah, that he, motherfucker on the um, physical discipline side of the game. <laughs> like, he probably eye gouger. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is a good eye gouge? <laughs> you gotta make the uh, three stooges stand. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pose. The ga- they do the you got an eye gouge to that, that <laughs> Scratch that corneas. You're going to be all right. No, but I know about uh, uh, this. This might be kind of um, uh, uh, weird to hear you say, but people who are real nice, as my brother really is, I'm telling you, they the ones where you make them mad. Yeah. They oh, yeah. lose it. Well, he, yeah. yeah, he got, he got Them all. guys who are real nice, they be like, oh, nah, let, come on, let's talk this out. I think that goes for anybody. Motherfucker! Yeah, yeah. Like, they, don't, yeah they don't want to see the bad It's side. extreme. Right. It's extreme. People are super nice. It's extreme. I have a daughter born on the same day. Whoa. The stars have lined up yeah. for see? them. He Whoa. has a son. She has a daughter. They were born on the same day. That means, coincidentally, in a time before they met, they was both Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> just fuck it. God don't make mistakes. Let me tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, no. See where his head goes? Like, that kid what, D? It's such a trip. Poor, poor baby. The stars was what aligned happened? while he was fucking. Right. What happened with I'm going to bring them together. <laughs> so whose birthday cake is that in your refrigerator? You know, you know what? I just Before he met her. <laughs> Before he met her, they both said, ah, at the same time. (laughs) That is nothing but God right there. (laughs) Did you come in spring of 87 on Tuesday at 315? Oh, my God. Jesus, he will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, he will fix it. I think at my church, they said that shit about 80 to 100 times before they stopped. Jesus will fix it? I know Jesus. Jesus, it will fix it. I know who Jesus, Jesus, it will fix it. How many times you going to say that shit? He's not going to. Oh, I ain't got no guys. Go no shit. Shut the fuck up. I was in church. I was, I was still a kid. I was like, I got to get the fuck out of here. I know who Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. I know who Jesus, Jesus, shut your bitch ass up. Right. <laughs> I know, I know you got a, uh, probably like 86, 87. I feel like you did a, a, a gospel album, like a falsetto. Yeah, yes. You got a falsetto uh, a gospel album yep. tucked somewhere. Yeah, you got that grovel. <laughs> you got that grovel. He sent it in to BB and CC Winers, and they were fucking with it. Oh, they you know hate him. Can you imagine if he put a gospel? Hell no. Oh. Everybody who been to church that sat through a motherfucking old bitch or some weirdo just kept yeah. saying it. Corey the choir director be like this, and they say, I know who you, Tia, he will be. I know who you, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear that song ever again. I don't want to hear Jesus' name again after this motherfucker. <laughs> what was that about a hundred times? I know who you. Because this day time to shine. You know, church is full of people who want some attention. So when you let them sing, just like the little uh, fruity boy, he was up there. I'm changed. I'm not gay no more. Remember that dude said that? I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Right. Them motherfuckers, there going to be some crazy motherfuckers in church. And when they get a chance to speak, oh my God. <laughs> Corey had a fuck, most fucked up remix of gospel songs. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna start saying to motherfuckers when they get on my nerves. I know who Jesus, Peter, he will fix it. You know what would make everybody go to church? What? If you had to come to get into heaven. Wait, what? If you had to come to get into heaven. Yeah, like when you got to the pearly gates, guy was like, all right, go ahead, shoot one up. All right, cool, you're welcome. Come on in. Oh, shit, everybody can't <laughs> come no more, man. Some people did. <laughs> I'm just saying, that would make everybody go. Jeez. 
Hey. <laughs> Six Craig just had the oh, craziest Craig, shit. What you over there? <laughs> yeah, nothing to get in heaven. There would be no room that for that. That done got him done. No, Craig is better when he got a buzz. When Craig got a buzz, that is the best Craig ever. <laughs> Craig. Craig get a buzz. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Jesus. You should have nothing to get in heaven, man. You should have nothing to get in heaven. Well, uh, but no, but I'm just saying, like, it's taboo really to talk about church to the black community because they never want to get questioned. But almost every reverend I know, every reverend I know who is a Baptist minister wants you to believe what he say and don't question none of it. Mm. Oh, yeah. And give him your money. <laughs> and give him your money. Mm. Have you ever asked a Baptist minister something that questioned what he said about this so-called son of God that's supposed to be God? Mm-hmm. You know, so let me get this right. Let me get this right. I'm supposed to pray and ask Jesus for forgiveness, but who is God? <laughs> they always be stuck. And they always try to, get, they try to say they one person. <laughs> I mean, it's, so the son of God is Jesus, right? So why are we talking to this spoiled motherfucker? Oh my God. That's what I always I want to talk to God who sent the goof ass nigga out here. That's oh. what I always Who got himself put on the cross because he was kid. spoiled. Oh. I used to argue that with the kid when the kid that was like, oh, they they were all one person. So right. I, so how is he talking to him on the mount? He talking to himself? <laughs> right. Oh my God. Oh, you say that's why I said that. Huh? What? I was trying to think of the, the song that gave me the idea. Um, of what? what? Earlier, about, about nothing to get into heaven. It's the oh, joy to the to world. To the Lord has come. My bad. <laughs> so if God can come, why can't I? Can oh, I? my <laughs> Lord. You stupid, dude. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> but if there is a pearly gate, can you imagine how out of order that shit going to be? Right. Like when everybody got to show up and see can they get in? Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers going to be outside. I know I better get up in this motherfucker. <laughs> They're going to be trying to hop the gate. <laughs> niggas gonna be trying to see if it's a VIP line. They better have a lot of them bathrooms out there because niggas gonna be pissing in front of the pearly gate. Man. I had to go, nigga. <laughs> Don't nobody think about this shit with oh, the shit they tell us. Well, Corey gonna, be, gonna, make it Corey gonna be trying to fuck bitches money, outside the gate. Man. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Corey gonna be trying to fuck bitches outside the gate. Look, we might not, might not make it. We might D, well go and fuck real quick. D made a good point. So let's say you up here at the pearly gates, right? And. What I want to know is, when do you get your wings? Mm. You don't, maybe you don't. Do you uh. get them before you in the gates? Because if I got wings, I might not want to fly to the pearly gate. I you. might want to fly somewhere else if I got my wings already. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I'm saying. I I'll get to the pearly <laughs> gates. <laughs> Boy, the, only, the only wings, I'm God, stopping at the liquor store The only wings they're going to give you is some six-piece lemon pepper. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> in heaven, you get your wings at Popeye's. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, he God. said in heaven, you get your wings <laughs> at Popeye's. <laughs> He's not coming. He don't want to come in. As soon as you walk up in there, it's going to be a whole choir singing that shit. Ooh, baby. (laughs) I got Papa. I got a real question. What up, What language are they speaking in heaven? I know. What they going to They going to speak that Arkansas shit? (laughs) Mark is going to get to sit to hell because they going to misunderstand him. Oh, no. You you go up there, that's what going to be speaking. That, that's what he going to say when he get there. They're going to be like, put that nigga down somewhere. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna fuck you going to be in the halfway house in heaven, <laughs> God damn it. They're going to make him oh, take yeah. a shower before they let him in. Nah, you in, but you got to watch up. They're going to you know make you up. wipe under your arm for you. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't going to be able to fit in the gates. Fat yeah. ass. Can, you imagine, <laughs> can you imagine how musty Mark is going to be if he got to fly up to the gate? Yeah. They're going to make him... Uh, <laughs> They're going to be like, tell that be, nigga he got the shower. Your wings ain't going to be heavy enough, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to keep pulling him down every time yeah. he flop. Nigga. They're going to oh, make Marcus yeah. check his shoes in. Like, then we can't, we can't let him in here. He can't walk around here with them on. Oh. Got water stains. Bare, on. We got new carpet barefoot. in heaven, nigga. He's going to have the little they, sandals. Huh? He's going to have the Jesus sandals. They're going to make him wear socks. You seen that nigga feet? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to make Darlene build Christ. her way up. What happened? So you Mexican. You can get his way up here. You uh-huh. said he'll make a bill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 you heard this. You heard this. Man, that's not right. That's racist, man. Let's talk about okay. they going to get Darlene a lawn more up there. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay, we need to clean the yard around the gates. 
<laughs> Darlene going to be up there. Hey, come here. Hey. hey. <laughs> Marcus <laughs> tried to get down with us with his old chainsaw running ass. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. Oh. It's hella rules to get into heaven. What are the rules to get into hell? What if hell is actually the it shit? It is I'm here. Saying, we are here. You know? It's here. You're kicking it. You they make, they I make don't it. Think, I don't it's think number think pleasure. Down I don't think the here. devil just taking anybody, nigga. I don't feel like anybody can just go to hell. I feel like you got to earn are. that. This maybe just, hell. maybe just threw us on, they just threw us on earth. Right. And it was like, you know what, man? I don't feel like fuck with y'all right now. Mm. But I'm saying, earth. like, what if hell, because, like, everything they tell you is bad is good, and what's good is bad. Right. What if hell is where they really kicking it at? Right. Mm. It's real shit. What if hell is some dope shit? Yeah. Well, you you trying out. to get up there with these librarian bitches. Right. Go find out. You might want to go to hell with the bitches you used to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell might be a dojo with uh, stripper karate instructors. It might be an orgy in here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it is. might be a real, this That's big ass hell orgy. Hell is here, Chris. Mike. But you yes. don't want to go down there because it might be a different type of orgy. Everybody might be fucking everybody. <laughs> That's the real Hollywood. Hey, hey, anybody in here ever been to an orgy before? I don't think nobody had the courage to tell the truth. I have. You been to an you orgy? Have? Yeah. He was invited. Mm -hmm. So you snuck in. <laughs> Grab some home. He said, I so identify as being on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this nigga with the suit on? I mean, we all naked. <laughs> 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 <We're all naked. laughs> Let the musty nigga in there. <laughs> what if I got a full suit on and we naked? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really, Marcus? Or you yeah, thought let it? that deacon uh, dress home. motherfucker in there. <laughs> group what do you equate as an orgy? Like with how? It was a group of hoes, and I had a couple of bottles with me, and we ran through them. Uh, you ran through them. Yeah. Fucking in so front of another man is actually a bold thing to do. It's stupid. You've never done it? <laughs> I mean, in college, we ran a train on the broad. Oh, I, that shit oh. is stupid, bro. In college? Yeah, that's just stupid. You want to get details? Or you just no. Wanna... I just, nigga, bitch, went from room to was room. Was you second or further back? That's all I want to know. No, nah, I was in the top three. Oh. You feel me? But what I'm saying is. That mean you fucked a nigga. Oh, no. no. no, man, yeah, well, no. I think everybody been a part of something like that once or twice. Man, that shit yeah. is weak as fuck, man. Yeah. I, I was with, I was with uh, this comedian named Derek Ellis, and the girl that he was with in the next bed over there, I could tell she wanted to be like, you come over here for a while, but it's just when I saw Derek fucking, I couldn't fuck him no more. <laughs> so Derek, he got that old oh man my God, voice. You think Derek, yeah. that's the one that Derek that Ellis said, eh, eh. <laughs> 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 oh, Nigga, we got to get out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> Derek the type of nigga to die every time he comes. They got to revolve. They got to revive him. <laughs> he fucked the bitch with the cover over him and her too. I, I was looking over there. Like, oh my god! <laughs> Stop covering the bitch up. What I told know? him. I say, nigga, let me look at you. Oh, see what I'm saying? <laughs> he funny. kept the cover on, <laughs> and I did Dude. one with Speedy. Oh, oh, my no, gosh. Yeah. He was in no. something else. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Me and Speedy out there in Lancaster with the easiest bitches in America. Right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. If you don't get no pussy in Lancaster, you can't get no pussy nowhere. <laughs> and this nigga's in Lancaster right now, like, church. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. But the yeah. bitch was real big. And when Speedy, I told this story, right? When he was eating her out. You couldn't see his head between the thighs. Like oh, I was like, is that nigga dead over there? <laughs> oh, my God. Because he wasn't holding her ass while he was eating out. He had both his ass down. Oh, like, I'm never going to look at Steve the same. Looked like he was dead. <laughs> like he was eating a live turkey. Y'all y'all was holding hands when y'all was fucking her from the back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just had a regular raggedy bitch. Oh, it was two bitches. Yeah, it was, I had a regular, regular raggedy bitch in the yeah. bed with me. Just straight regular. Yeah, yeah, nigga know what I'm talking about. Yeah, regular yeah. looking raggedy bitch. She was glad to do it. Yeah. But oh, Speedy he... had a big old Caucasian girl. Right, right, right. With right. the cottage cheese thighs, too. Yeah, they, yeah. it wasn't the smooth skin. Right. There's right. two kinds of fat. You got the cottage cheese thighs, that wiggle, and you got the hard skin. 
the, the bitches who be saying, really, I just need to work out. No, bitch, you still <laughs> fucked up. It ain't going to never work out. <laughs> I can't with this guy. Oh, Mike, I'm never. I'm so glad I don't play baseball Mike's anymore with Speedy. He said, ain't going to tell us about her trains. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the yard. Somebody said the yard. Your dear That's right. Wow. Drew House and this no, Drew's house. That's ridiculous. Truly appreciate. She said, Lisa, appreciative of the 5150 show. Nashville supporter. Thanks, brother. I mean, Lisa, of course not. I'm not going to tell you about the train. I sent you an email. No response. Like What's the right name. contact? To contact. Book you a show. What's, what's the oh, right God. to contact you to book a show? Oh. Serious oh. business, bro. Oh, Did right you hear way. that? He missed right a word. Way, That's okay. No, he's telling you who he is right there. He said, Corey, I sent you an email. No response. What's no, no comma after response. No response. What's the right to contact you to book a show? Serious business, bro. Uh, <laughs> Did you read that sentence? He just left yeah. our way. What's the right <laughs> way to contact you? Okay, like, like y'all are say. No, he just made a mistake with the text. Everything I need to know is right <laughs> there. <laughs> it was a nigga at one show. This nigga wasn't bullshit. He walked up to motherfucking my manager. He said, yo, man, I want to bring you down here to whoop de woo Michigan. Here, man, he go $1,000 on GP. I was like, shit, that nigga ain't bullshitting oh, right there. Shit. Right, right, right. He a gay nigga $1,000. Here, that's just for listening to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that yeah. nigga ain't bullshitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullshit yeah. Well, we'll uh, look through the emails. I'll look through because maybe I now forward them, I guess, to Maurice, right? Man, look. D, I'm do what you been Thailand. doing. Watching Corey, Craig, D, and Marcus from Thailand. Wow. Love y'all. Hey, Al Fisher. Al Fisher, Fisher goddammit. That nigga out there, he a fisherman in Thailand. Anyway, fuck yeah, it. Thanks, bro. Love got dick. you too, Al. That's... Women fish got dicks on them. Women in fish Thailand? got dicks on them? <laughs> what kind of fish is that? <laughs> a woman fish with a dick. What is that? That's a squid. <laughs> Oh, no, it's a hish. No, we don't want to. A hish. An old fish is a hish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, a Don what? Lemon Selenia. fish. <laughs> Selenia Williams said people type it's the way they talk. It's a dick fish. Oh, no. People type the way they talk. She said like finna. <laughs> right. I say finna, but I'm just saying. There are no coincidences in the world. That brother might mean well, but I read the sign. Yeah. He said he sent me an email. I ain't seen no email. What an email is. You probably didn't send it to the right one. Huh? That's what I'm saying. So why you say you sent me the email if you don't know if you sent it to the right mm. one? <laughs> Marcus, when you get older, you're going to be able to catch everything you need to catch before you let some motherfucker fly you somewhere. And at the end of the show, you be like, hey, man, I'm ready to get paid. Hey, man. Oh, no, I'm not going on stage. Oh, no, no, on Corey level, it's got to be right. Yeah. You can't be gambling, I'm not going nigga. on stage until all my money. I ain't finna yeah. be nowhere stuck with a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know nobody like that. If it, well, it ain't turned out like we wanted to. Yeah. But. <laughs> what? You did your thing, though. <laughs> you trying to book me. You got to send me the money before I get on the plane if you ain't established. Yeah. Because I ain't going to fuck you. Right. But if you don't believe that, I get it. I don't want to do the show. I'm not coming to Wyoming <laughs> <laughs> to do a show off hope. Right. I done did that before. God damn it. I What's the worst you've been got? I mean, everybody done got not ain't got their money before. It happens. But I'm not saying nobody is saying that now, but I'm yeah. just saying it's like I don't think this happened the, the trials and tribulations oh, that shit. came before mm -hmm. people who can put up and stand on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not quick to do shows for nobody because a nigga got some money. It'd be motherfuckers. Try to fly you into a major city. Now, when you go to this major city, you make nice money. Mm -hmm. But he want to fly you in, and he ain't even knowing what he doing. So you done got flew in, your name got advertised, there's 200 people at a theater, and you look like you ain't shit. Mm -hmm. can't do, I can't do that. I fuck with professional promoters who I know, if I take this money, chances are they know what they're doing with the advertisement. Mm -hmm. I can't be somewhere, even if I got all my money, a bad look, a bad look. I can't have no bad look. I don't know what he's doing. That ain't no, that ain't no diss to nobody. I'm just saying, I can't have a bad look. When motherfuckers be trying to book me, it be motherfuckers I know. I be like, I can't do it, bro. And they be like, what the fuck wrong, man? I got the money. I'm like, you got the money, that. but mm -hmm. I can't look stupid in motherfucking this major hub 
A motherfucker will call you for a show. Let's just say, like, a motherfucker wants you to do a show in New York. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you think a motherfucker like me could take a bad look in New York? Right. It's a theater. It seats 2,500 people, but it's 250 people in there. That don't mm. look good. Mm -mm. I can't do it unless you're a, a bona fide motherfucker at this stage of the game. I don't, I don't get the blessings that come to me and then fuck it all off. I got the blessings put up so I can afford to be like, I don't want to do that. You get what I'm saying? But like, if you fucked up, you take whatever you can get. So what, what, what's the what's the comedy club in New York now? Because it's Caroline's on. That was that, that was like the number one comedy club, right? Caroline's is gone, but they got a couple other clubs in New York. Okay, just know. not Manhattan. Manhattan mm -hmm. rent is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Wow. So for yeah. a comedy club to survive in Manhattan, it's very difficult. Okay. There's got to be some... See, like Manhattan, they pass out tickets to comedy shows all day where they fill it up with open micers, mm. and they ain't paying them shit. But Caroline's was paying comedians. Not I didn't make as much money <coughs> as I make at other clubs at Caroline's because I know what was up. Mm. That dude was just trying to get the best deal, Brother Lewis. He was trying to get the best deal that he could get where it works for you, it works for him, and he can keep the club open. Because rent Oof. on Broadway in motherfucking New York City, Manhattan, is a motherfucker. I couldn't imagine. I'm nope. glad he stayed open as long as he did. That's true. I couldn't I'm imagine. I'm glad I went. Now, if I'm in Arkansas, I got to have it all. <laughs> <laughs> Your rent is yeah, $200 for a building as big as Arthur Treacher's. <laughs> but in Manhattan, you had to work with them people. Like you got to think about it. It's, it's expensive to live in Manhattan, dog. It's ridiculous, in fact. Like you go downstairs and buy a candy bar. That motherfucker ten dollars. Right. Yeah, most people from New York City, they don't live right there in Manhattan. They live them in people who live in Manhattan, who who live in Manhattan, D? Nobody that I know. The people that they might work there, they might. You know what I'm saying? Probably but they live in. They live in like, you know, New Jersey or Larry's who are the people zone. who can afford them condos in Manhattan? Oh, but that's old man. They've already had them. Like I know a few people that like when I went out there to do my book sign and I stayed with. Thank you, Fat Five Freddy. And he has a beautiful place. But of course, they've had it. You know, what I'm saying he's had it forever since like the early 80s. Thanks, Nesfali. But like not a lot of people live active. there in, in I see Manhattan you, anymore. I see mm -hmm. you, bro. Now I'm saying and Harlem, like, if man, you were lucky look, to have a nice place there before it got to the comedy there. game for all my younger brothers and sisters, it don't stop. When you work at a comedy club and you have gotten to the point where you can pick your act to open for you, mm. that's bliss. Mm. When I do theater shows and I work with certain motherfuckers, because I was only working with certain motherfuckers at one time. But now I have started taking comedy shows with groups of guys that I really don't feel like are men of principles. And every time I do it, I'll be like, wow, look at this fuck shit. Mm. Like, you will work a comedy show and you will be the headliner, but somebody else done politicked the headliner's room. Because you ain't thinking like that. You're the headliner. You automatically get the big headliner dressing room, right? Right, right. But if you ain't on top of your shit or the person working for you ain't on top of they shit, some famous unfunny motherfucker got the big dressing room. Mm. I'm talking about a motherfucker. He famous now, but he ain't funny. Oh. He famous, but he ain't funny. If he was funny, he'd be super rich. There's a lot of famous niggas that's not Funny. They normally the host of the show. They normally host the show. Famous <laughs> niggas that ain't funny, they be as the host. Like, in Kings of Comedy, when that shit first started, homie, Steve Harvey had the TV show and everything. Steve Harvey was the headliner of the Kings of Comedy when it first came out. <laughs> <laughs> city after city, he was eating dick on stage. He actually said, did you see that? But I'm just sorry. But you can bring it up, D. The Shannon Sharp what did interview. You say? No, I didn't see it. Excellent. One of the best interviews I've ever seen. Well, who did he interview? Steve Harvey? Yep. Mm -hmm. What did and Steve Harvey say? A lot. But it, he speaks on all the details. He actually is breaking his, his you know, version. So you ain't going to say what he said? 
I can't remember verbatim. I'm just saying, watch it yourself. But it was to me, it was really good. He gave a lot. How of was it good if he didn't remember bring it up? No, 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 because <laughs> no, but he speaks on that because he was saying how hard it was because he was closing. He he really didn't. I I don't. He's what he was trying to say was he 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 was excited when he finally got. To, he'd rather host it. He wanted to host it. So when he said that it to me, he said that he wanted to host it. So when the second he round, he wanted to game, host it because he couldn't go up behind said and the entertainer admitted, and, and Bernie Mac. And he said that. And he said it. He said they. He said it. He what did he say? That it was hard every night. He was like, "Can you imagine going up after those guys? Like it was tough." He well. Said. It's a lot of motherfuckers who be on tour like that now. Right. And they are normally the hosts. They famous. Uh -huh. They famous yeah. now. Yeah. But they the host. The reason they the host, because if they go after the real heat, half the theater walk out on them. Hmm. This is what happens. This ain't no diss. This ain't me talking shit. Right. I'm saying, like, when you're doing a theater show, it's a marathon. Imagine four or five acts that went up and you got to go up last. In a theater, you can't perpetrate the headliner. Mm. You can't. You'll get booed. That's tough. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard, even if you are a headliner, to go up last on a theater show. A theater show is a marathon. Mm -hmm. when you, after they done seen four motherfuckers, mm. five motherfuckers, and the host, two hours that went by, and if the run here you way. come. Right, and if the run You got to have the chops, dog. He said a lot of times they didn't, that people didn't stick with the times that they were supposed to stick with. Whatever you want to come up with. <laughs> Steve Harvey ain't got no business headlining over Bernie Mac or Cedric the Entertainer. He ain't got no business, whole, he ain't got no business going up after they hit the stage. If he go on stage after them, he supposed to say, all right, y'all, y'all had a good time? All right, then, good night. He the host for a reason. <laughs> it ain't no diss to the brother. He got the host. He ain't got the chops. In fact, he a good... Host for the unfunny famous niggas. If that's if that could be said, out of all the niggas that's famous, not funny, Steve Harvey is one of the best famous unfunny niggas out there. Yeah, he was a good host on that. He time. a good that's host. True. He he come with his little sarcastic humor in between, and it worked. Cause in between, it could work. Yeah. Like what y'all doing walking in late? What he got on? <laughs> and I like the story. I didn't, I didn't know a Crowd lot about work. him. Yeah. Right. You can't go up two hours after the show to start it. Look at this dude right here. Fuck you, nigga. We'll beat your ass, this motherfucker. I didn't know enough about him. That was good, though. I'm saying it was, it was uh, Shannon asked a lot of great questions. I hope Shannon asked him the truth, goddammit. Yeah. Shannon, go on and bring me on, man. I know I said that shit about you, man, but I'll you be did? a- You did? What'd you say about Shannon? What? I yeah, said, when, when Shannon you. was, um, first of all, like I said, when Shannon first got on TV, he was a pro-black man. Now, he didn't have to double down on that. Oh. They like, you want to keep getting this check? You want to be a swole broke motherfucker? Well, you better do what the fuck we want you to do. <laughs> so, oh, he is good looking. I like Shannon. All right, D. Well, <laughs> what? what's a good looking woman who hosts or, or got a show? Oh, what's her name? Tamara Hall? Beautiful. Yep, Tamron. Very attractive woman. Mm -hmm. I believe if I meet her, I'm going to get her. <laughs> oh no, he really. I was supposed to be on her show. Oh my God. Who? Oh? Tamron Hall. Have that. you seen Tamron Hall? No. Uh -uh. She's sweet. She's straight She's for the good. stroke. She's really good too. She's I'm married to who? Ain't she married to a pink boy? Is she? I know they have a. I know she has a son, but I don't. I don't know if she's this. She got a show, don't she? Yeah. Well, how do you think she got that show? Oh, boy, here she. we go. What? Don't nobody know her from nothing? Here we go. <sighs> I like her show. She ain't too. Queen Latifah. She ain't Jennifer Hudson. Now you see why they got shows? They was famous. Look at Marcus, them looking up her hood. You know, <laughs> looking up her hood. <laughs> I'm looking up her. Okay, she's, I she's recognize great. her. Yeah, she's great for scroll. What you saying, Marcus? What? That girl fine as hell. You ain't never had nobody look like that. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> that was somebody said no chance with her, Corey. Who? I don't know. It just passed. It just passed. All right. Something for everybody who say no chance with her. I just want to let y'all know. I've said this right before. Right there, look. Bad. She into white men. Oh, you she don't know. She into white men, Corey. No chance, bro. Oh, I get it. We don't know that. But OTKP and everybody else, this is what I want y'all to know about Corey Hoka magic. When I be around women, they start to like me. So I ain't saying. I ain't saying I'm everybody's motherfucking dream come true off sight. 
But when they around me, <laughs> when they be around me, though, I get them. I done smashed too many girls y'all would never believe I smashed. I swear, it's because when they around me, the magnetic attraction of the 5150 boss is irreputable. Is that the word? Oh, irrefutable. 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 I said poop because I got gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were standing by a, a, a wall and he walked up and bumped them and smashed them. Some girls like Marcus because they like bald head <laughs> men. But when he sweat on them. <laughs> it's different oh. strokes for different folks. People are just attracted to what they're attracted to. That's it. <laughs> What'd you say? Different there ain't strokes no different, different strokes for yes, different folks. Yes, it is. Folks. People have a Not when it comes to me. Wow. If I'm around you, I can hypnotize you. <gasps> if you're a woman, I can. I have it like that. Don't look at the gray in his eyes. It w It is hypnotizing. <laughs> it is. He gonna hear it, but you. I was right now. I was caught. I was caught staring at when he was talking directly to that camera. Y'all ain't just stabbed. She say, "Don't look at the gray, gray in his, his eyes. eyes." It is mesmerized because I was looking. I was like, "Oh, poor boo boo. He needs to go get it checked out." Big Shirley don't count. Them Fuck y'all, nigga. Cataracts. It is. It's great. You know. Look I don't way. care what y'all say about me. I'm not saying it to be mean. It was cute. To, like a little joke, a stab, but it, but I'm serious. I've been wanting him to go get his eyes checked. D got on glasses telling somebody to get their eyes checked. Look right there. You see, Marcus, it almost looks like his eyes are blue. No, I can't see. Oh, okay. Look at D looking in my eyes like something wrong with me. D, I can see fine. Ooh. Don't say ooh, ooh. D. <laughs> D say ooh. ooh. <laughs> you see that shit, Marcus? Oh, I see it. It's, 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 Look at Marcus and say, ooh. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a tree trunk on top of your lip, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so. You got an old there, oak on top of it. What you, you say go. she look like? <laughs> like a tree trunk on top of her lip. There, you, like old there oak. you go again. <laughs> that ageism. You better oh, pray to God. <laughs> pray, pray to God you live to, the, to be this age, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say I'm Mac and Lizzo. Fuck y'all. Pray to God you be able to uh, live this long. I can't smash. I can't smash Lizzo. I, I don't think I can pull it. Even though I've smashed some big girls before, but they got the thinner upper body. Right. All the big girls with the upper body this big, I can't do nothing. No. Nah. You come with benefits. I smash. They just gotta have a shape. Uh, they got a shape. So you're a user, Marcus. Mm-hmm. Wow. Again? He said it with no shame. He's yeah. young. He can be a user. Young young guys you get the fuck, and the especially older women. Young guys, all you young guys who are about 30 ain't got nothing going for you, you need to fuck older bitches that got something because they'll share it with you. That's real shit. <laughs> all you guys 31 through 37, 38, you still considered young. 37, mm. 38, mm. still young. You post the dick down elderly <laughs> bitches that ain't got a shot at happiness because they come with money. Some of them come with money. If you a motherfucker that is something fucking a broke bitch, you don't, you don't know how the game of life go. This your last hurrah before motherfuckers start calling you OG. When you 38 and under, especially the age of 30 through 38, you supposed to be fucking bitches that's 48, 49, 50, all the way through 63. Because them bitches have established themselves, they done robbed the nigga for his money, and they want to give it to somebody because they feel guilty about having it. Wow. That's real shit. Hmm. These guys. <laughs> yeah, that's real shit, man. <laughs> Thank you, oh, There it is. Wow, no. really? Wow. That's Mark, what's up? That's nice. Wait a minute, where, where you get that hat from? Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's dope. Nice. See, man, he gave him a dope hat. Put it on. Let me I see like if it fits that. your head. That's <laughs> all he's concerned with. Watch. Yeah. Ooh. See, he fitted that. That hat make you look good. Yeah, <laughs> you do. You look a lot better. You oh, should exactly. sleep in that hat. <laughs> Tell him to go somewhere. Don't matter. Come to bed with that hat and a thong on. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga go back with oh, this bitch. My God. Oh, yeah, that's man. really nice. Yo, Mac, we love getting you something you happy about, bro. Okay. Real talk. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's Go Mac over there. Yeah, yeah. I know you like that lady. I, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Go Mac, Macca, them motherfuckers, the bosses up here at the Coin Academy, home of the Baller Podcast. Abe face red like on the bird. motherfucker. Oh yeah. Abe the fat white girl sit on the face. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> his forehead is shiny like he got some Afro sheen in that motherfucker. You gotta keep it moist. He got burned on his face. He got. Uh. <laughs> I want to see what parts of his body is burned. It tell you what kind of oh, look, tell you what kind of bathing suit he yeah. had on. Yeah, yeah, he flirt with you, Abe. He tried to he tried to see you naked. I don't want to I don't want to see him naked. I just want to see how bad he burnt. It say a lot about what he had on that day. Hilarious. <laughs> you better not been on that nude beach in San Diego. He, was a, he had a thong on. And he, <laughs> he was out there with a thong. <laughs> Somebody walked up to him and said, Hi, Abe. <laughs> Damn. He's able. <laughs> Somebody say, Adina, Adina April say, Corey, a freaky creep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Freaky creep. All right. Freaky creep. Anyway, I right, go, man. All right. Damn. Oh, we good, man. Supreme. I'm new at promoting. Supreme VG. I'm new at promoting. I rock with heavy. I rock with heavy wood. You <laughs> like you know, <laughs> Spell it fucked up. I'm I think you say I bad. rock with you heavy. What? It, D, can you read that? Oh, now someone's asking me for help. All right, Bill. I'm new at promoting. I rock grand. with Heavy. I would like to book you for my first show. I'm about doing good business. Would never have you looking bad. Too much respect for you. I'll send a deposit up front to show I'm serious and legit. Go on, Supreme VG. This might be somebody who renting out a comedy club <laughs> that I'm already going to be booked. Yeah. I don't know. I'll tell you what city you in. I'm going I'm to I'm put, put up how to get in touch with the person that booked me so y'all can... Make your offers, and I hope it's 100 because <laughs> I don't need no small time blessing. I need to be blessed. If you can rally the town, then you can book the motherfucker that's going to put it down. That was whack. Oh, yeah. nah, right. that was, that was decent. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, your outfit ain't shit. I just wanted man, to tell you man, that. I know you like that shit, man. I mean, man. Yo, look at your shit wrinkled. My, your shit wrinkled on purpose. My shit, that's the design. Nigga, this is the coldest R&B outfit on this panel right now. R&B! Right. <laughs> you want to have an R&B on? Our R&B is ragged and broke. That's <laughs> <laughs> your R&B stand for. We got on the R&B outfits. What's up? You want to have an R&B yeah. yeah, contest want, right now? You know you don't want no R&B. smoke with me, man. Y'all dress like R&B, mean racing Buicks. Because <laughs> your throat. Top that, nigga. Because your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Marcus, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, fuck it. We been go on. What you looking at, D? <laughs> you blind, motherfucker? You still looking in your eye. She talking about something wrong with my eyes and her glasses. Thick like motherfucking currency good. exchange you medicine. You gotta drink a lot of water, man, so you get that salt out your ass. Let's go, go. Man, get your good face. That's what he's saying. Here, yeah. <laughs> you repeated that you with the shit. Yeah. Now, I ain't asked you to raise your arms yet. Uh oh, you don't, you don't have that to. That motherfucker better not be musty under the. You don't have to raise it. Your shit wet under there? No. Did you get wet through the jacket? Because you got on a turtleneck under there. I'm good. It's wet. You see it, D? I already see it. <laughs> I felt what it I was kind of warm right here. You don't get your swamp arms having ass <laughs> out of here. <laughs> I was Frogs like, under I your was shirt like, right now. It's mosquito season too. I'm scared. Man. It's a lily pad in your bed, nigga. <laughs> yeah, lily pad in your bed. All the extra chin <laughs> up under your. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> get <laughs> your dick. Get your wet jacket, have it ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're concerned about dick, both dick ass, nigga. You got that beard, so you come up all that fat ass dick. Nigga, <laughs> Pellegrino <laughs> want to do a deal with you for your armpits, oh nigga. My God. <laughs> Thank you. He used to call your jaws in high school. Jaws. Vinegar arm pit having ass oh out here. My God. Please just raise the arm. Bar. No, you don't have to. I already spotted it. Bless his heart. He raised. Oh! <laughs> Look, he did this. He saw it. He said, Oh, <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> nigga, is it raining outside? Nigga? <laughs> this nigga just flew in from Miami. <laughs> so they got on a pro club suit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say he'll walk in humidifier. <laughs> Backyard golf. <laughs> this nigga got the heat on 80 under his arm. Crooked smile, ass nigga. That nigga got an upside down smile. <laughs> 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 Your bottom will be at the top, nigga. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Remember that Old Spice commercial where he was, he was wet? <laughs> Did you use Old Spice? To, <laughs> yeah, don't lie to me. Somebody said you got them old dog eyes, but that's why I was scared. Yeah, you got them old bulldog eyes. Damn, he's such a specific dog. I'm an any dog. <laughs> Corey dressed like a, uh, a, 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 a like he like he a Rucker Park team owner. <laughs> if you don't get that Ben Roethlisberger hat to fuck up off your head, nigga, you about to rape a bitch after this show. That nigga got the head like you about to catch a train. Hey. Somebody say you need armpit tampon. God damn, Mark, did you sweat through the jacket, nigga? Uh. Boy, God damn. <laughs> your fur don't allow you to sweat, nigga. If you don't get your motherfucking sea bass built ass the fuck up out of here. <laughs> you built like Ben Roethlisberger, what you talking about? If somebody spit on you, Marcus, you'll say. <laughs> 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 He'll flick some sweat oh, on there. You throw fat in the fight, Ooh. nigga. <laughs> you whoop the nigga. They say Marcus holding them arms down tight as hell. <laughs> Marcus doing the show like this. Hey, right? Hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. Corey, Corey dressed like Levert Daddy Kane. <laughs> they say you they say you whooped a nigga with your titties before, nigga. Oh, oh, my God. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> well you can't headlock like like nobody with them wet ass arms, nigga. Nigga gonna be like the people who make tires with good tread be trying to make some deodorant for your arm. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute, listen to what Corey making love equals greatest sumo wrestling match of all time. Oh, wow. Corey, chew awkward yeah. with them teeth. Get your true vintage uh, R&B fan having ass out of here. Marcus yeah. take that jacket off, he gonna blow his nose with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That motherfucker gonna go in there and drive the toilet <laughs> stool with that motherfucker. That collar ain't shit, you gotta attack the by a dog before you got here, nigga. Hey, man. <laughs> do you still gotta go pee before you do your shit? It's too late. You already peed on yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> do I know you pee on yourself? You too late. You said you go to the bathroom. I meant like I <laughs> bladder that, weak. No, I missed that. If you that a fifty-something-year-old like, woman, it's piss on your pussy right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. I admit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I might sweat it on, but you pee and yeah. don't know it. Oh, stop! Well, I, I got something now. You about to tell you? Yeah, piss about it. I do know it. Yes, it does the body good. No, yeah, you went has, down there, no, D. Let me it find has out. Let me find out you went yeah. down there, D. It, yeah. yeah. Marcus got low on money. And this is how Marcus' <laughs> arm look right now when you take his shirt off. Marcus don't got low on money. Don't try to deflect, Marcus. It's Corey okay. just rubbed on himself. <laughs> <You> get that. <laughs> Marcus got low Stop. on money and ate everything in his fish tank. <laughs> He did. He did. Low on the way. Wait, he just throw it. He doing now. He doing Vuka Ball. Hey, boo, you might win. Uh -oh. Hey, fuck it. We go. <laughs> hey, got them done. That hat, that hat, that hat got strong <laughs> wet resistance. If you take that hat off, God damn it, it'll smell like a volcano erupted in this motherfucker. That hat that made it right there, yeah. boy. That, huh? <laughs> oh, you was over here attacking me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, like that nigga got a toddler hat on. Uh, that nigga. Uh, <laughs> hey, Marcus bring all his own meat with him to the restaurant. Man, fry this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's all right. It's season hot. I like it. The stove ain't working. Fuck it. I'll put it under my arm. <laughs> <laughs> you got panini making arms, Marcus. Your shit. <laughs> panini. You see how Yuck t shirt ain't wet under the arm? <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be, Marcus. And the crib got an intense bite. <laughs> they make you wash up before you get in the beach. And, one, and they won his last dog fight. What you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Oh, shit. 
Oh, they delivered yeah. the deodorant, Marcus. I got you. No. Oh my God. That, that's that, that's a long to take your pills, nigga. Oh, that, nigga. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the part of the show that must be tolerated because of its longevity. <clears throat> These loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. Oh, whatever. Anyway, all right. So there must be something in the air right now with the courts and child support and. Stuff like that, because my goodness. Anyway, Happy there's so many people out there just getting, oof. Getting what? Getting took. Uh, <sighs> so Tyrese, back <laughs> in the media again. A whole lot of uh, Yeah, he for sure is crying now. He put on his, um, on his Instagram, you know, he's ranting about uh, the judge um, recently. He was ordered to pay. You know what? <laughs> what is that? Is that a form of? Do I have a case here? Yeah, of course. Showing that his case here. Of course, showing his dick on. Hell no! All the dicks you done showed on. I don't. Phone. You asked to see stuff. I can describe the shit you done pulled out. You asked to see uh, stuff. All of a sudden, I turn. I ain't asked for shit. I turn and I think I sounded like. in the yard. Wait a second! It sounded like a dog was lapping up some water, and I turned to look at a picture, and he's got a picture of a girl slapping her stuff. It sounded like a dog lapping up some water. Yeah, right. that's funny. Go ahead. That was gross. Come What's on. Good? I wasn't I even expecting that. About. I didn't I turned and he was showing that was a girl. That wasn't Corey. Oh. <laughs> that was a girl's junk and she had her hands on it. Oh, really? That's oh. all through the phone. Okay, yeah. but you showed it. You let us see. Right. Oh, he let you see some cool cool cut. He showed it to you too, but you didn't have your glasses I on. I don't know. <laughs> he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't. Marcus, tell us how uh, Tyree showed you a tongue ring. Tell him <laughs> that story. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Right anyway, so he's head. back in court. Uh, <laughs> this one's pretty bad. I mean, wow. Did you say Tyrese showed him a tongue ring? <laughs> no, he's, he's Marcus bought a tongue ring off Tyrese. Nigga. No, <laughs> took it right out of his mouth. Nigga. Anyway, so let me see that. Um, I want to try that off. <laughs> he was I just knew. in Atlanta, uh, Fulton County Courthouse. Uh, he was ordered to pay close to $400,000. That's just to her t attorneys. Um, they said last August he was already ordered to pay Almost 11000 a month in child support to her for their four-year-old daughter. This was his last wife. Who was that? that? Tyrese. The that girl. was his, his last wife. That was when they were together. Happier time. Cheaper than people got done. Um, yeah. So he, <laughs> but he, he, he went on a rant. Don't like he him. said, you know, he was trying to get that uh, judge removed from his case. Didn't happen. So now he's saying that it, um, it was a racist or racism was a, uh, um, he was unsuccessful. Hold on, they said. Okay, so the selfie, that video, because I didn't see it though, but I, I read the uh, details about the case, and they said that he went on a, a selfie video rambling um, because he was trying to get the judge removed from his family court case. It didn't happen, so now he's holding what he calls a peaceful protest at the courthouse. That didn't work. Um, so he is ordered to pay almost, and that's not, that's just for her attorney's fees. The other fee was crazy, like oh, it's two hundred. Okay, so that. So he's he's made to pay for her attorney fees, and that's because that's his wife. That's wait, his wife. that's his ex-wife, and he's paid. He first the first <laughs> amount was a back child support, and that happened earlier this morning. Um, close to two hundred fifty thousand is what he owes her. They demanded. They told him he has to pay that, plus close to four hundred thousand for attorneys. That's. Four hundred thousand for attorneys and two hundred thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand for back so, child support. So Six hundred fifty thousand. And for well, back child. Support. Yeah, and what happens is every time you do, of course, you know, a project, <clears throat> you make more money. Whenever you're married, you know, to somebody or they have child support on you like that, they can keep going back and saying, "Okay, he just made more money. Let me up whatever I had." So I don't know if that was the case. All I know is that they were. She. Got, that's back child support for yeah. two fifty. Anyway, and in May. He, next month, he has that the new um, Fast and Furious. Right. What more do you want from, from me? <laughs> mm. You can't even never trust a woman that got bigger teeth mm. than you. <laughs> you. Got bigger what? Yeah, she got bigger teeth than him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she got she you does. know she got the man mouth. Oh, he hate he hooked up with that little redhead. Yeah, man. cause it didn't last very that long. That motherfucker's so fine, God damn Who boy. Fine? That motherfucker right there. Tyrese. Me? <laughs> 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 he said that. <laughs> oh. Oh, my bad. Oh. <laughs> <They> got comfortable. <laughs> so is she stand out beautiful to you? That's a seven. That's a sexy motherfucker. 
That's a seven? Seven. I got an eight. I got you a got as an eight? Yeah, yeah, I got to see her stand up. Yeah, I like body. Can we find a picture of her standing up or something like that? Because these guys said she's a seven and an eight. That motherfucker, that tough. I want to see. What's tough about her? What stands out? Some her face? Her beautiful. Her face stand out she like that to you? She party. She not no eight, though. She That motherfucker party. I don't know what you niggas talking about. Again, different strokes. So. Abe going to find a picture? What? Look at that. I almost don't want to go into the next story, but. I, I just want to see how she built. Marcus, you're not into girls with big booties, though. That ain't your thing. Oh, man, I, I like a thick motherfucker. They ain't talking about from the south. <laughs> Shit, I want exactly. mother. Exactly, as soon as he got. God, got them big, thick Tyrese. hearts. Oh, Tyrese. They were? Mm. You can't find no picture right away, Abe? Hey? Okay, we'll okay. come back to it. Uh, moving on, in the same kind of boat is Flow Rider. Almost in the same two days. Um, the judge at this court, his court case was just super pissed because apparently um, Flo Rider was supposed to show up in person for this um, challenge of his, and, and she wasn't an ex-wife. They said a bitch of Arkansas eight. Hey, go ahead, D, my bad. She had, <laughs> this, this, this woman had a baby by Flo Rider. Matter of fact, the, if this is true, they say that he's never even met the kid and the kid has special needs. Well, when he won that, like I said, that court case, when he won that money, remember all those millions from that yeah. energy drink? Back to court, so she's trying to up whatever he owes her, what have you, but he was supposed to show up in person and they had already told him that he needed to be there in person and he didn't, he tried Zooming. I'd do a Zoom with the judge and the judge got pissed, so. Um, later on this week, they're going to say how much he is going to owe her. Um, she's requesting 400000 mm. Um They have a special needs son. So we'll see how much uh, that judge gives her. I don't know. I want to ask a question. Flo Riders, uh, she has a baby by him. Did Flo Riders just win out? Where's the, the girl? That's what I'm saying. That she took him to Where's the girl? What's the question? They didn't, I, I don't have the, I have a picture, but I don't want to put it up because she's holding the special needs baby. And I didn't Why want, don't you hold up? I the, didn't want You him to discriminate, see it. D. I didn't want Corey to see it. Why you won't hold up the special I needs baby? I just said baby? why. I, why that baby can't get no shine on the 5150? I, because I already know you and I just didn't want to go there. Hey, anyway. did she send you the picture? You selfish, D. I don't want to because it we has, gonna find that it. has nothing to do with the, 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 the story. Look up Flo Rider's no, special need no, baby. please don't. That he getting robbed for. Please don't. And the only reason he has special needs, bless his heart, is because he fell out of a building that she lived in. And they said that there was. So some, once he fell out the building, he became special needs. Whatever Hilarious. happened to him. Yeah, that whatever the, the uh, what is it called? What happened to him? What it made says, him special I'm trying needs? to look at it. <laughs> Suffers from a rare disorder known as hydrocephalus. That's it. <laughs> I'm like a regular baby. <laughs> Get Stop. the fuck out of here. <laughs> Please don't. Okay, let's go. Anyway. Wait. Hold on. Now that bitch look better than the bitch that Reese fucking with. <laughs> that blue ass bitch that gave to him. Hold on. That's the baby? You telling me that baby don't look like something wrong? I'm just asking. Oh, why did we even have to put that up? Anyway, you brought it up, me, I, But I didn't you, give the picture. You lit the fire. Hold on. No, but I didn't you give the picture. You're telling me that that little baby right there don't. look regular. Yeah, you don't see it in the eyes. I that can't. baby looks sleepy than a motherfucker. I'm just saying. Sleepy looking baby, something be wrong with him. Anyway, look at uh, that picture. Oh, y'all have to do that picture like that. Hey, that ain't nobody doing that picture like that. <laughs> he is Who or is this nigga on the side. Oh my uh, god. Right. Look at that flow That was when he was what, in good what, shape. Look yeah. at this hot line. What is going on? Dude? And look at the baby. <laughs> the baby. Will you oh, just god. leave him alone? The baby anyway. looked like Flo Rida after a concert. He was oh, ordered wow. to pay 100% of the medical <laughs> bills. Cole, stop. What? Hey, stop it, Cole. 100%. I'm not doing nothing. See, this is what I was talking about. See, that's why I didn't give them. D, the you did it. You baited me. I did not. This is a, this is a didn't show. Have to go. This is the 5150 show. You oh knew God. I was exactly. going. Exactly. And that's why you said, I didn't, I didn't want to show it because I didn't know what Corey was going to say. Exactly. And I said, that's why I didn't. It wasn't necessary to have a picture of her. <laughs> you shouldn't have highlighted. He probably wouldn't have said that. 
I didn't. He I'm asked saying, for the you, picture. Were, were I you, just said he had special needs. Somebody no. told the truth. We no, all man. going to hell. Hold on, wait. There's somebody saying what, the, what happened with the baby right there. He fell out. He fell out of the building. Wait, hold on. The window. Down a little more. Right here. The baby fell out of... The window. Fell out of the window on March 4th, and the lawsuit has been filed in New Jersey Superior Court. Mm -hmm. The mother is suing her landlord about faulty window guards. Right, but that has nothing to do now, with what Now, what do you think about that? But that has nothing to do with what, what she's trying to get from A him. baby falling and hurting himself, and the mother is trying to blame other people. Man, that's crazy. Mm. That I baby mean, in that picture him. right there is still a young baby. You have to watch babies. Now, I'm not saying anything can't happen, but I'm saying she's suing everybody. Well, she's now, suing everybody. now I'm sure if she Well, came, now he's six years old. That's not him right there. He's, we have he's, a current picture of the baby? No? No, I don't think so. I think that's. I want to see the baby know. at six. That's... No, please not. <laughs> What's old boy who, who killed his baby mom? Uh, uh, wait, Ray Carew. Uh, Ray Carew. Uh, and it's uh, a wrestler too, though. Uh, it's a wrestler. A white boy wrestler did the same thing. He killed his whole family. Uh, oh, see, yeah. punks. How that little boy turned out all War right? machine. Punks. You see the little baby right there? I told you yeah. nothing wrong with that boy. He cleared up. He getting better. That you can tell. C, yeah. That eye, they, that spring, they did something to pull it back <sighs> right here. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. But I told y'all, what really nothing wrong with. <laughs> Ain't nobody dissing no baby. Y'all crazy, man. I'm for the kids, goddammit. I no woman who aborted a baby should ever be able to say nothing about somebody joking about a baby. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Chris Benoit. What Chris Benoit do? He killed uh he killed his whole family and so oh, did. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but didn't they uh, did they try to say something? Did they ever do that brain CTE test yeah, them on? Yeah, and yeah. how was it? What did it come? What do, what do he babies? What do babies? He had that, right? Too, he did. Yeah, because yeah. he was. He so was they check it after he died. But he killed him. What do babies that um, survive trauma say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> well, remember he was asking about hell. Remember he was asking about hell. Oh all God. these questions. He prepared. He was asking about hell. Baby, fall. You all right? <laughs> I know, exactly. See, oh, now you're not in on him with him, huh, Marcus? You're passing on this one, huh? Oh, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> not a child support case, but another legal case within the last few days. Um, Soldier Get him to the boy. hospital fast. <laughs> uh, Soldier Boy <laughs> has been fighting a case with his ex-girlfriend, Kayla Myers, in a domestic <laughs> abuse case, um, and he lost half the case. The rest is pending next, uh, late, I think a week from now. They're going to give him, I guess, what he owes, in the, or if they're, they're going <laughs> to give him a, a damages in the civil trial. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Um, anyway, he was ordered to pay 234000 for pain and suffering to his ex-girlfriend. Hi, hi, yep. And then the last, rest in peace, Harry Belafonte. Uh, I'll just wait till he gets all that out of his system. Why I ought to? <laughs> I can't with him on this. <laughs> if he has some kind of attack right here. <laughs> Them yeah. sounds of babies that ain't developing right. That's all. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you guys are aching them on. Damn, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that means bring me some water for babies who ain't developing right. Anyway, wait till he stops. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's delirious because he's sweating like crazy. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. 
All right, D, go ahead. All right, rest in peace, Harry Belafonte, civil rights activist, actor, singer. He was 96. He passed away earlier today peacefully in his home of uh, congestive heart failure. Um, of course, if you don't know, um, he was famous for his Calypso song was the biggest one, Dale. Uh, his final role he played in a movie was back in 2018, Black Klansman. Um, and, and he was big in the hip hop um, community because if you don't know, he became intertwined with hip hop movement in the Somebody beginning. said, meep, meep. <laughs> anyway, he became intertwined with the hip hop movement early on by getting involved by producing Beat Street when nobody else was about to pick it up. So he, um, because it had to do with where he's from, the Bronx, um, in 1984, so it was one of hip hop's first movies, and and he produced it. He picked it up and put it out. Um, I didn't know this that he actually released 30 studio albums, um, yeah. and he acted in over 30 films. Of course, he's written and acted in television and several plays. So rest in peace, Harry. Uh, long life. I mean, look at that. 96. Hope I get 96 of them. Man, mm -hmm. real spill. That's 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 real talk for sure. So rest of work in the community. He sure did. Matter well, of fact, you know that he actually got into a little beef with with um, Jay Z because he well, called him out. This was a couple of years ago. What did he say? He said that he that him he and Beyonce are so big and they're pumped. They should be doing more to you know for the community. Oh, well, you know, ain't nobody. Well, let me shut up. I, I'll let that ride. Anyway, but yeah. I want to be old and rich though. Can you imagine ninety five? But you got paper. Right. You still get to be like, you better lick this dick, bitch. Oh, they're going to be abusing this. Oh, yeah. They'll do your ass like, like they gonna oh, be uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Yeah, I think they'll be pushing they around nigga in the, hard, in the tub, him, rolling him to the wall. <laughs> he can't move. Be rolling, be rolling him to what about when your ass get old? Yeah. Mark is going to be like, wipe my arm. Uh, 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 you know, your face don't get bigger and shit. You're going to have a lot of chin dragging on your dick. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, you ain't gonna be able to control no glands when you get older, Mark. Oh my God. All kind of liquids gonna be coming out your wet ass. Uh -huh. That's your new nickname, wet ass Mark. You gonna be obese. You gonna get fat. You gonna get fat. You know Mark is wet. <laughs> you know Mark is wet. <laughs> your wet ass out of here, nigga. <laughs> when you get 6160, nigga, you gonna be. You like 61, a bitch for the fucking yeah. <laughs> Anyway, 61. Oh, 60. oh that's a cute little movie with the gray hair. That's cute. You got it all? Yes, in, yes, yes, yes. You okay? I'm super good. D, you okay? I'm great. I wasn't sweating, goddammit. I got my head greased to the scalp. That's grease. Oh, all of a sudden it just want to drip down now? Ain't no dripping. It was super shiny. All you over want me to be like Marcus? <laughs> Marcus is dripping. He ain't got no grease on his arm. Nigga, you got, your skin, no, your mean, skin drip, nigga. What is that? Do you see that? What is Mark, what? Turn hard towards me. Look at this. What is that? What is it? Is that, look. What? Is it something on me? You got is a bug it? on it? Is that, what is that? Is that a hair or is that a... What? Oh, that's fat, D. No, it's sticking out. <laughs> what is that, Mark? You can't hold your arms down forever. <laughs> Let me cut it. Your wet armpits making <laughs> it where you refuse to clap. That's extra cheek on his chin, D. Look this way. No, Marcus this be way. trying to hide that shit. He, he clapped like them homosexual men in the choir. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your titties do, oh, nigga. Oh we walk. <laughs> I want to get it so bad. I've been every what time is it, D? I What's on know. me? That was long. Damn, yeah, did you see that? Extended hair, it's like three, man, pull my hair. It's like three inches long on his face. That's freak. That's creepy. <laughs> it was. It was. It was bugging me though, cause it was like just sticking out like a wire. <laughs> that nigga Marcus ain't shit. That nigga Marcus. Oh my god, that's called like you tree long. trunk. <laughs> you stupid. I am group mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that is cute. I love group. I hate that they made him grow up. <laughs> you stupid, Mark. I love you. <laughs> you hate shit. I don't pay attention to Mark's ages and jokes. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. I am goo. <laughs> <laughs> like what Corey called me long. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said Mark is going to leak blue. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? What is it? I am goo. It's cute. All right, fuck it. We have been on a roll with the Sinongs, you didn't need. Oh, but he's not here. Oh. oh. 
What's his name? Meyer. Oh, Meyer. Meyer left some beats. Oh, look. Did call did? Him? Wow. What did you call him? Isn't it Meyer? It's Dyer. Dyer. Oh, it's Dyer. Oh, I'm thinking of Meyer Lansky. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> can't is. see good. You can't hear good. <laughs> That's actually fly. She was, D was thinking about Oscar Myers. You don't know who Meyer Lansky is. You know who Meyer Lansky is. You think about Weenus. Do you know who Meyer Lansky is? You think about Oscar Meyer. Oh, huh? Do you know who Meyer Lansky is? Of course I do. No, I know you do, yeah. but he. Meyer okay. Lansky, that's his daddy? Ah! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to see to talk about That's funny, dude. You don't make, know who Meyer Lansky is? No, he don't. He ain't a player like that. Cold gangster, man. Jewish Did you gangster. find a picture of Tyree's wife? He found a better one. Let's see her. Let's see this. Eight. Ex-wife. The Arkansas eight. Ex-wife. <laughs> Motherfucker be falling in love with these little Hollywood bitches they meet in the club and really think they going to tame these hoes to be something that's worth something. Women in America are wired to rob you. What's she at? Right there? What, what y'all talking about, boy? That's a bad bitch. That's a bad bitch, Mark. Mark. Little bitch cute. I, I, I wanted see to see her standing up to see if something stands out. Right. Oh, Lord, they're too much. What? I'm just saying. She look cute, bitch. She's straight I for the stroke. That nigga Tyree's yeah. got an awkward-ass smile. He smiled like his teeth too big for his mouth. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a good smile. A real nigga would have rotted that bitch out and had her snap either in the motherfucking club on me That's or whatever pregnant. the fuck. But she made up. She got she a look, She look too white right there. She look white. She got right the titties there. out with a baby in her. She got and the old 5150 chair. She got Corey's old chair in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be one of the worst feelings in the world to be a slave to a bra. Say you, it again. You got to bring her money every month, man. Just because she decent looking. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, this motherfucker's got to pay Gila Monsters if right. they fucked up and hit raw. Mm -hmm. When they say it's cheaper to keep them, I say it's cheaper to kill them. Hey, you want to hang up there at the motherfucker? Let's, let's take a trip to Planned Parenthood. Let's do it. And watch the motherfucking bitches these niggas walk in there with. Man. Them niggas be looking like, ooh, I hope this bitch don't need. <laughs> man. <laughs> man. No, motherfuckers, no, on them nights, them, them nights, you, you a man, you know about them nights. Yeah. The shit you didn't hit, you be like, God damn, damn God. I don't have to. I gotta get better. Yeah. Idiot. I done hit some shit in this world. I'm so glad ain't came out. Man. Mm. I done hit monsters, though. Yeah, but man. you don't know. Years could pass Corey, by, and all of a sudden you Corey, get Who's that? That's her? Without yeah. the makeup? That's her parent. Her father. So that's, a, that's still an eight, Marcus? She's still cute. I, don't, I mean, she looks too white. That's what I'm trying to say, though. Different white, strokes. Marcus she looks too she's white right there. That's a bad bitch. She looks too white right there. Hold on. I'm just asking you, Marcus. That's a bad bitch. She decent. She okay. decent right there. She, 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 she went down a little bit. But, but she, because she looked too white. To no, first bra she looked too her. white right here. I don't, I don't like, I don't, the when they get started looking a little white, they start looking. You turn prejudice on the bitch. The woman he had you know, before you know her was, is She's killing her. White. She's probably Armenian. That looks you like remember she. his other bra? He had like a little fitness chick. I don't know nothing about these motherfucking bras. These niggas be cuffing and turning into their motherfucking queens. Right. She no, well, not no more. She like they divorced, so. Uh, 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 uh. Still kinda look no, but that was his queen. That's why he had to pay for her Damn, lawyer. She still kind of look white, right? Back now. to what I was saying. Damn. If you have a woman who was Looks raised like in America, Talk she it. is built to stand before the system, asking for yours. No way around it. She's going to stand before the system and ask you for yours. I wish somebody would make a documentary on football players six years after retirement. Oof. They all working at Best Buy, nigga. Because them motherfuckers believe in a bitch who was cheering for them when shit was sweet. But when shit ain't sweet, them bitches get their peace and get the fuck on. My brother Tyree got a baby that's probably young as hell. What, four? That's the, I think that's the youngest one, yeah. Right. Four. You know that's 13 years of writing Ooh. check Every to time he worked. street Ooh. yeast. Mm. And I don't think she's the only one. Street yeast has got to be the most worst thing to write a who check to. Right what? Who is who? Who's right there? They got posted right here. Look. Oh, that nigga Tyrese look like uh, Dal Singh from Street Fighter. 
<laughs> Fire! <laughs> that was the happy days while Man, she was still was building her hustle up, making right. sure the baby made it to earth. Mm. Now that the baby is here and the smiles don't have to be um, participated for, he is about to pay with the money he earned that was going to make it where he can eventually retire and live a certain way. But now, because he has a child by street yeast. The other one's the first kid. He has to work and get a job on Dancing with the Star. Oh, my God. Yoga gonna flame. Because <laughs> he what? <laughs> no, it's about that street fire. you gonna flame. <laughs> right. You know what, because you had them long arms. He got to host a karaoke night because he had a baby with her. Mm, 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 mm. And 20... In, in 2029, he's going to be hosting the karaoke night. Y'all going to be there. Come on, y'all. <laughs> y'all going to be there. That's what happens when you have babies with these American women. Mm, 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 mm. You got to have a baby with a girl that's scared of you or from another country. How you going to act like They're going to be singing this song at karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. I don't, know how, much, all I don't know how much he gets for the first kid, so I don't know. I mean, has to pay for the first kid. He cursed himself with that song. Oof. All this bitch is getting over on him. Man. Mm. Somebody wrote Goofy. That's a Chicago dude mm. right there. Anyway, man, we're going to come back with this beat perfected and do our little song and shit. Maybe we can get D to do another verse, participate in this shit. Street Yeast. All right. 5150, we'll be right back in five minutes, motherfucker. Bam. The 5150 show. 5150 show. The 5150 show. 5150 show. The 5150 show. 5150 show.
150 back in the motherfucking house. Got a new song for you to motherfucking put in your motherfucking... Ah! Always coming up with the classics. That's the beat in between. Yeah! Alright. Let me know when y'all ready to play that other shit. Just bring it in smooth. Motherfucker, we got the motherfucking, uh, you dig what I'm saying? Are we back? All right, well, come on, give it to me, goddammit. Uh, yeah. Motherfucking Craig Facts in the house. Oh. You know Marcus. Yeah, man. Darlene OGOTs might throw up hand in the pot. Uh, come on with it. This is dedicated to all them niggas D talked about today. Uh, Met a bitch and fell in love with a hoe from the club. 
Now you got a baby by street yeast. And she gave me that long neck. Street yeast. I got the pair that long check. Met a baby by a bitch that you met in the club. Now you got a baby by street yeast. Cause she gave me that long neck. Street yeast. I got a pair that long check. You hit a raw dick in a jaw. Supposed to be the baddest bitch you ever saw. You didn't know she was playing you like a fool. You didn't know that bitch was that cruel. Had a baby with her and wiped her up. And now basically your money is fucked. 400,000, that's for her lawyer. Homeboy, you tried to spoil her. Got a baby by a bitch that you met inside the club. Now you got a baby by street yeast. Cause she gave you that long neck. Street yeast. I gotta ah, pay that long check. Fucking them bitches that you met inside the club. Now you got a wife named Street Yeast. Cause she gave you that long neck. Street Yeast. Yeah, Craig Fats, what's up? Uh, she tried to tar and feather me for that treasury. Said she would better. Said she would better me. Turned out to be a motherfucking scam. When I got broke, the bitch really scrammed. Scrambled me just like some eggs. Now I'm looking for more pussy ready to beg. Yes, I got misled and misfed. Bitch got in my head, now I'd rather be somewhere laying dead. Yeah, that's how the game go for a lame though. Fuck with a strange hoe, get your whole life flamed though. Yeah, and we don't play, we mold bitches like play doh <laughs> Dough. We play with dough for sure. Fell in love with a bitch that you met inside the club. I don't know the book. Now you got a baby by Street Yeast. Cause she gave you that long neck. Street Yeast. Gave you the long check. check. Fell in love with a funky bitch you met in the club. Now you got a baby by Street Yeast. Cause she gave you that long neck. Street Yeast Marcus, got what's up? Got to pay her that long check. Nutted in this bitch, I couldn't afford it. I told that funky bitch she should have aborted. Now I'm in the court, she got me extorted. She ain't from America, so I'm finna get this bitch deported. Her pussy always something wrong. The bitch ain't even fast, the bitch ain't strong. Exactly. But you hit her raw and nutted in her ass. Now she'll never be in your past. You gotta be smart when you're picking a home. You gotta fuck her wrong so your sperm don't go inside her womb, put it inside her throat. You listening to the gold? Hey, you got a baby by a bitch that you bet inside the club. And now you got a baby by street yeast. Cause she gave you that long neck. Street yeast. You got to pay the long checks. You fell in love with a funky hoe from the club. Now you got a baby by Street Yeast. Give it that long, she gave that long neck. Street Yeast. What's up? Bitch, why your stomach growling like you got worms? Hold on. I think it's my turn to cross-examine and question where you been. I smell sin. Bitch, where the fuck you been? Yeah, don't come back without a dollar to lend. That being broke shit is a trend and I just ain't in. Fuck a friend, I need a business partner. One to go get it with. Yeah, fuck a bitch that I could just be living with. You started running trains with the bitch with one of your guys. Now it ain't nothing but love inside your eyes. But she got you in court. Your paper is short. Your daughter got a short arm. The bitch is a thought of the past. <laughs> you tried to kill her and that baby fast, baby. I told you I ain't want no baby from the start. Now you walk around this bitch with stretch marks. I gotta pick up a child up from head to start. Goddamn, bitch, you broke my heart. Yeah. Darlene OG got something uh, to say. Like she being shy, girl, do not play. <laughs> Talk about the street yeast bitches, you know. Say something on the 5150 uh, show. I don't know why all these guys want to cry when they knock a broad up. The baby. 
all oh, day, and I was thinking about it. I was in the bathroom when they were doing it. At least it. you tried, at least you tried. You fell in love with a bitch that you met in the club. In the bathroom, I didn't know what that was. And now you got a baby by Street Yeast. And I don't even know what that means. Street yeast. Oh, they don't know what it means. Yeah. Oh, what, what street yeast? Street yeast is the goo that comes out of your body. Uh. When a whole lot of niggas hit it and something was cloudy. Hey. Street yeast is the stuff that is white leaking outside your pussy every night. Hey. Street yeast is a bitch with bad decisions. Street yeast is a bitch hey. that I'm pissing on her. Miss, miss, that was your bag with dope in it. Lied to me and said that was just a little bit of soap in it. <laughs> you got a problem. And I could solve it, but you don't listen. So it's time for you to leave. Your life is now in transition. Need a new man and a new plan, because I don't do the bullshit. Yeah, bitch, it's me, preaching Craig. I'm in the pulpit. Yeah, we can get full quick of this game I feed you. But from now on, bitch, you got to go, because I don't need you. Your pussy smell like the animals that's on a farm. Your pussy smells like, go ahead, say it, D. Like Marcus's, Marcus's arm. Like Marcus's arm. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, Marcus. <laughs> now he's thinking of what to get you run. back. Uh-oh, go. Get him, Marcus. With that fucked up hat. <laughs> With the fucked up hat, hell yeah. From the she back. be got it. She be bullshitting. I ain't going to trip on the lady B. Because <laughs> she got the lips of us old. Old tree. <laughs> but he wants to be me. No, Man, y'all do what you do. Don't be talking about D Mouth. <laughs> I am group. <laughs> Looking I so close to my lip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trip. 5150 one. show. No doubt. <laughs> we motherfucking putting that bullshit out. If you get mad at us, we didn't try to make you mad. We tried to make you laugh. God damn it, we ain't trying to put nobody down. But exactly. It's all part of the past. That's true. This week, I'm on my way to Jacksonville, Florida. About to rip it up. Get your tickets, god damn it. Is the, is the, what's the name of that club? Put it up. Who? Or no, Jacksonville this week. Far as the plan goes. Jacksonville, I ain't been to Jacksonville in a couple of years, man. It's going to be good to get back down there. All the ladies in Jacksonville, look, I speak to you. I don't want no pussy this week. This week I'm trying to be good. <laughs> Meet me another time or another city. Jacksonville. You gotta, you dig what I'm saying? Finish taking his medication. Man. Yeah, I got to take my medication this week. <laughs> I'm leaking all that stuff that will give you street yeast. I'm leaking the street yeast. Paying a long check. Craig, what's happening with you, man? Man, just mo podcasting, releasing this chill, uh, chill with us cluster B project with the songs and the documentary. We're about to get back on these shows, heavy. So, uh, man, keep supporting the comedy press. Keep supporting Craig Fax, roast Ooh, with the host. Sorry. And uh, just more stand up dates on the way, man. Purchase the merch, and if I owe you something. Uh, Get it from God. God, God, God. <laughs> God, God, God. God damn it. The Comedy Zone, Jacksonville. We got shows Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Fuck with your boy. I'm going to go to that little nasty ass beach out there, God damn it. I went to the beach one time in Jacksonville. It was fun. God damn it. Them waves was high. I saw this little yeah. baby almost drown. For real? I've never been shit. to Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville got a beach. I don't think I've ever been to Jacksonville really? either. I already yeah. heard there's a motherfucker out there. They what? I heard it's hood than a motherfucker in Jacksonville. Yeah, it's hood. Thing. It's a little college yeah. town, too. Oh, is it? Okay. The motherfucker bout it, bout it, God damn it. But we, hey, yeah. my comedy built for that shit. Y'all come on into the comedy zone and flood that motherfucker. Marcus, what's happening with you tomorrow night, man? Mainstream, 6 o'clock, man. Tap in with me, M-A-N-E-S-T-R-E-A-M. This Sunday, I'm at the Atlanta Comedy Theater Underground. So Atlanta, tap in with me, man. They sell that thing out, man. Hit my uh, got them uh, Atlanta Comedy Theater.com, man, and get them tickets this Sunday. This Sunday, let's pack this thing out, man. Then I got Memphis that following uh, Sunday, so it, at Chuckles. So, yeah, I'm gonna put D to work. Thank I'm gonna tell y'all this, and I'm gonna tell y'all this this time. It's gonna get warm outside. 
Only for this week. Only for this week. With all the winter what is here. this? What is today's date? It is uh, the 21st? Oh, 25th. Mm. The 25th until next Tuesday, whatever that is. I think that's May 1st. The hoodies and the long johns don't sell for half price. Oh, whoa. That means I'm going to take an L, but I don't care. Well, and and they, whatever is in stock. And they can hold on to it until the winter, man. It's right around the corner. It's a couple more months, but okay. The hoodies and the long johns are half price. Give me about half Making an hour. i right now. Hold on. That's only for this week. Wow. Only this week. Them, motherfucking, them hoodies is motherfucking classics. Okay. Yeah. The hoodies and the long johns in the store have price this week minutes, only. 30 minutes, I'll set that up. D gonna set it up in 30 minutes, she say. Sorry. Set it up now, D, goddammit. I was, how, set it up now. The people need to know how they can get the hoodies for half price and the long johns for half price. They gonna laugh for your whole life. You can go to the 5150 store. Go to 5150 the 5150 store, Dodge, get your debit card. card. Be a 5150 hard. A what? That's hard. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing this because I'm a nice guy. I'm doing this because I try to clear it out for the new stuff coming in. Half price gear that was made in the winter. <laughs> it's for sale. Half price. Or oh, fuck you go to hell next week. The sale is off. You better spend your money now because I'm the boss. 5150 show must live on. 5150, y'all is going so strong. Ooh, Them the haters Burgundy tried ones. to say Ooh. that the show was going to fade. Because certain people left, but you a slave <laughs> to the weak ass shit. Nigga, I'm the boss. Motherfucker, I pay the cost. I don't give a fuck what happened on this show. The 5150 life must go on. Ain't no stopping us. We the best. <laughs> I'm like your woman. I fucked the rest of them niggas out the game. <laughs> ain't no shame. This shit supposed to be strange. I ain't supposed to say the same shit the next motherfucker say on his podcast. The shit I say make the 15150 show last. Dang, that's good. This shit be clever. You, doing what I do, never. The best show on the net is right here. Now sit the fuck down, fuck your bitch, and drink a beer because hey. we here to talk the shit all every right. Tuesday night. Hey. We say the shit that the real niggas like. All hey. the cake ass niggas try to criticize and hate. But motherfucker, all I got to say is look at your face. Hey. What you doing now? Oh. What's hey. happening with your career? <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, you should have stayed here. I was the lick to try to put you on, but you thought you was better than me. You thought I was weak and you was strong, but that ain't what's happening. This be the real. Corey helping the motherfucking deal. Hey. All right, dang. Mainstream coming on tomorrow night. Hey. He gonna be talking about some more shit that the real niggas gonna like. Hey. Craig Facts. Hey. <laughs> he left this motherfucker and created a kingdom. <laughs> and now he about to bring them licks to all us later on. When we really need him, he gonna be a producer and bring the freedom to the people who wanna say what's really on their heart to say. I'm talking about everybody. I don't give a fuck if you gay, motherfucker. <laughs> 5150 in this motherfucking house. Get the fuck out, motherfucker. If you in here bringing doubt. Man, because I'm talking about a bitch or something you don't like. Motherfucker, YouTube could put a strike on this account. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna still keep being me. You motherfuckers been watching, you motherfuckers see, I don't switch it up, I switch it true. All them TV motherfucking producers that ain't never put me on, I ain't mad at y'all, but when you ready to get some money, have the balls to have Corey Holcomb on your show. That's right, Corey Holcomb on your show. Hey. Damn, this was see, quite a oh. long flow. Wet under the arm. Hey. <laughs> Wet under the arm. You look like a dirty Dalmatian with that ugly ass shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Facts. Niggas been hating for years, and I'm all ears. Most of you niggas talking 
ain't really my peers. I don't live with my mom. I don't need a bitch. I'm already rich, nigga. Plenty dough to get. Matter of fact, compared to me, you ain't a man yet, my nigga. Cause you ain't wrote down a plan yet And figure, how you gonna compare to me Cause I'm sitting next to a legend Making my own legacy and your water still ain't treading Nigga, need some Excedrin cause you got a headache You being fake, nigga can't wait to show up to your motherfucking wake And speak to the people, let them know how evil you were yeah. And the shit that would occur if you were still here with her And I took her, my nigga, yeah, I really booked her Fucked her for a while and shook her Cause she's really not a looker and I'm a cooker, a nigga cold in the game, yeah. Here for the money and to knock your bitch out the frame. Fuck you lames, cause you ain't really got no aim. You just a nigga talking, mad cause yeah. you still walking and balking. Yeah, pass it to my nigga Corey, the alien, the Vulcan. The nigga that'll hit you in the dome with that motherfucking Yeah, me and hawk, Craig, we talking. been knowing each other for a long time. Me and my nigga Marcus, our relationship fine. D get on my nerve, but she's still in the house. Even though I can't stand half the shit to come out of her mouth. But we all been cool. And we still stay solid. All you motherfuckers can call it. Whatever you want. Ain't no cake ass niggas on this panel. Craig a man, Mark is a man. Even though D can't handle real shit. <laughs> she's still on our team. 5150 rank motherfucker supreme. Everything you try to say about me in this motherfucking world, you just mad. Cause I talk shit and still fuck your girl. Look. Yeah. I paid the bitch. You can say that's how I got her, but how you get her? Boy, I shit her in my motherfucking car and then drop her off. Put the bitch at the wrong address and make sure she lost cause she left her phone in my car trying to let it charge. Now I'm going through the numbers. Oh, this bitch here stay hard. Before I get up out of here, we're gonna flow like a brother. 5150, making these niggas quiver. Hey. Hey, I ain't no driver, but I'm still gonna deliver. Mr. Smith, the pimpin' nigga. Mr. Smith, the pimpin' nigga. Big shout out to my nigga in Phoenix, Arizona, who gave me them hats. I'm a wig while I'm fucking a bitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna have on shit but the hat when I walk out the bathroom. Hey, <laughs> hey. 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 to say. Man. Hey. hey, I'm gonna be in the A. This Sunday, tell your bitch come through, and they come through that. Oh, hey. that. Yeah. <laughs> what club you working at? Atlanta, come to ground, come to theater, uh, underground. I'ma make a sound, uh, make the niggas fall to the shell. Oh shit, I'm coming through there in the A. I don't play, big man. In your way, yes sir. Hey, don't play. He about to do the wet under the show, the show. <laughs> yeah. Under the yeah. show, the show. Yeah, Struggle bars. <laughs> yeah. Struggle hey. bars for real. Yeah. yeah. Hey. All right. Uh, On the 100 side of the game. Did we get it all out? Somebody want to say something else? Oh, uh, shit. I'm still rapping. We, just oh, yeah. we still got some beats to say to this yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey. Nigga, I don't hey. run out. I don't run. I can't. And I don't trip with the when the bitch gone. Look, I got it. She runs back to money like the wishbone. Look, some of you niggas searching, trying to get thrones. I was born on one. My nigga, get gone. Yeah, I got a book about me. Yeah, really my own Bible. Teaching real niggas survival and how to be homicidal. It's vital to be dangerous when walking the earth. Cause a lot of niggas is territorial but don't own no turf. And a lot of niggas got money but can't really count they sense up. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah, about to get my gents Have up. Have you ever seen your bitch get fucked? She didn't know you was watching. That nigga <laughs> fucked her for an hour straight. That pussy was clocking. I didn't even know she could fuck that long. I didn't even know the shit was that strong. Hey. So what I gotta say to that nigga? I don't give a fuck if you was bigger. Check it out. I fucked your bitch too. And she said I was better. Yeah, I got that money, homie, so you know I can get her. Your bitch ain't seen shit. That bitch paying a note on a cut list. <laughs> she saw my dick, she said, but this nigga is cool than a motherfucker. <laughs> Put my finger in her ass and then I took her over to the sink and made her wash my fingernail. 
Even though it was clean, my fingers still smell. Hey. Can't freestyle real good, but I can't endure. Hey. Put your south in your mouth, it's my next tour. Hey. Pull up on one of the dates, slide through. Like a drive through. The wet below tour. Start marking. <laughs> Hey. Lily pad to it. <laughs> <laughs> Lily pad yeah. in the bed yeah. to it. <laughs> hey. oh All right, my, my nigga. Hey. We gonna wrap this shit up, man. Craig, I'm glad you came through, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me, man. Motherfucking Marcus in the motherfucking house. Yes, sir. You know Marcus. OG or D or Darlene Ortiz. You park. You parked up in the front this time out there. I was like, oh shit. I couldn't park behind you tonight because that dog be back there. So he and he be up. he be sneaking me though. He scared me when he barked. He one of them dogs would be like, but he's behind. Oh, 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 he's like, <laughs> motherfucker. But he's behind a gate. Oh he could jump that gate. Oh, Corey, you ain't supposed Lord. to let no other dog punk you. Oh. <laughs> that dog knows you when you drive. As soon as you turn on Lake Street, he be like, oh, that's Mark. He's a wet armpit having ass. <laughs> Hey, so, um, hey, you got to put some cortisone on your face. I'm it's serious, it'll help it heal quicker. Aloe vera. No, you got, no, yeah. they say you got to jack off and put sperm on your face. He got burned. He has a bad sunburn. Put some throatazone on your face. Throatazone. <laughs> Motherfucker. We got to thank my man for the beat. D, what's his name? Get it right this time. Look at Arkansas. Who? What? Nah, somebody say you clean for a little Dyer Lansky. Dyer Lansky on the beat. Thank you, Roger Green. You dig what I'm saying? Time fixes the prices on awesome. Always love your freestyles, 5150. Pop there lock. You go. Thank you, brother. There you go, LOL. All right, I'm just getting motherfucking shout outs now. Falcon, EL55, 5. Sticky Move. Freddie Ramsky. Lorenz Walker. Hey. Val, too. You dig? Anthony Jr., Chief, Cold Ass, Blue Chase, Ty B, K5, TA, Piper, Dr. Sinister, Hi John, KT Lloyd, R. Sterling, John Petty, wow. LA Stacks, Coast, Gola, damn, it's going too fast now. <laughs> Terrell Chandler, LV Sure, Jersey 22. You say LV sure. <laughs> Ramza. That's a gay name right there. <laughs> Why, Ram? Chandler. Who won the second game tonight? I know Atlanta won that game. They won tonight. Atlanta. Trey Young hit a Trae cold last shot. Man, Trey Young is cold. Clippers lost. They out of here. That team is done. They don't talk shit to Kawhi. I noticed that. That let me know Kawhi gangster. Yeah, he don't talk His teammates be like. What the smoke from? It's over for the Clippers, goddammit. Niggas had the Clippers to win the whole thing. I mean, if they was healthy, they had, they had the team. The Nuggets went on here and put Minnesota out their misery. I got the Nuggets winning the championship. Eh, I think Boston match up good with them. Boston and the Nuggets would be a great finals. Probably the most athletic finals. What happened to Milwaukee? Old boy back. They down. Yeah. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Buckets. You gotta give him his proper Jimmy motherfucking buckets. He went off. What's up, old boy back ain't gonna help them? In Milwaukee, they down 3 1. Can they come back? No. I will beat them by myself. They die. <laughs> Giannis, they come on, you gotta get your long game on. Giannis, yeah. Tell your brother to sub for you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't drink nothing. I know. I was just like, I might drink something tonight, though. I just want to have a drink and go to sleep naked and drunk. Man. <laughs> Wake up with a couple of squirt marks in the bed. <laughs> oh, my God. 5150 show. The 5150 show. We about. Thank y'all, America. 5150 home.